Here comes the do, do, do. Hello. 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 Hey gamers. Sir Duke Lens Flare, hell yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the epic gamer montage edition. <laughs> What's up, gamers? Michael We're here. Bay. How's it going, I'm everybody? The sun. It's Sunday. So she got a tan? Look at you! Yeah, man, I fucking I got bad. My face is all sunburned, actually. It's fucking. I went to a festival for the past two days, and it was just sun everywhere, not a cloud in the sky. So I've been, I've been. Did you toasting. wear sun cream? Nope. That's you go. bad. You're a bad boy. I know. I'm naughty. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. It was good to because it was like the first time I really went out partying since like Kings Day or some shit. So it was a, it was good ass time. So my friends saw a lot of people from like, because it was in my hometown, so I saw a lot of people from like, that I haven't seen since high school, and I was like, yeah, you know, didn't mind not seeing you for that long, but hey, guys, how are you guys doing? You know, you know that, like, you see mm. someone you know, you know from like way back, and you're like, dude, I did not really feel the need that to... that would stay back there. Yeah, exactly, but... right? But, uh, you know, I wasn't fucking... laughing at that, by the way, just out the window, struggling to get out of the floaty toy she's sitting in in the lake, and it was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> 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 Sorry. So, um... Uh, but you know, you know, fucking good times, good music, good vibes. A lot of drinks were consumed, and I'm hungover as fuck. But we're here. Hello. That was like that. That was always the most white girl Instagram caption ever. Like, <laughs> good times, good, good vibes, vibes, good people. <laughs> Live, love, love. Um, but yeah, we're here. DS. Uh, first things first. No DS next week because it's switched on, and I'll be in Amsterdam vibing with um. With the homies, so I I shall not be here to DM. Shall at any point randomly decide this week? Oh, you know I did fuck it. There's only one shot. You know by all fucking means, you guys have the stream key. Fucking do whatever. Uh, the channel is just as much yours as it is mine. So uh, go for it. But um, no DS next week. Um, other than that, I got fuck all to announce. Really? Oh, besides that, I'm kind of getting back in the swing of streaming because it's I'm done with college now. So all I do is work two days a week. So I'll be. Uh, Getting back, maybe I'll finally fucking start Horizon Forbidden West. How about that? That's probably a good idea because I've been oh, wanting no. to play that game when it came out, but then Elden Ring came out and that obviously took uh, oh, no, priority. Oh no, it's me. Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? What? Hmm? What? Oh, huh? oh no. Oh, he froze. <laughs> oh. Duke out here getting DDoSed That's by the Roblox the game. <laughs> I'm struggling today with internet because I'm up at my mom's cottage, isolating from my partner who potentially has COVID. So if my video periodically freezes or I obviously sound different today, it's because I am far away with cottage quality internet. And we're going to take the first half of the show and see how it goes. If it's a real big hassle, like if I'm constantly freezing, and then we can just swap me for Soko at the break if it's a problem. It should be fine. Like it's so far, like the occasional freeze is whatever. Like it's 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 not yeah. unbearable, so like it, it it's fine. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Duke gets back at some posted. point. That'd be great. I will not be offended <laughs> if you're like, yo, leave. Nah, nah, it's all good. It's all good. We'll make it work. We survived Bell with the fucking high pitched fucking whatever the fuck <laughs> sound that was last week, yeah. so we can survive this, you know. I fixed it. I found a, he a headset. Nice. Well, apparently it's just the summer of tech problems in Dungeon Select. Yeah. We're out here. Look at that, not be. It's about tech problems. It's just, it's just a bad week for us this week, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understatement yeah. of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Um, fucking we'll Divinity to tomorrow pretty as well. <laughs> um, so Divinity tomorrow. We're getting, we're getting to, you know... We're, we're, we're getting we're close to the uh, last act. To the towards the last act, yeah. It's, it's, it's a long time coming. Oh, there goes Duke. I do. I do. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. Um, I still like being half of Davian. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Half of Brooks. <laughs> it's all good, man. You know, we're just gonna just roll with the punches, dude. You know, whatever. You know, fuck it. We're here. What happens when you don't all live in the same place and own a hey, studio? That. Ethan, oh. Oh, fucking idiot. Hey, oh. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Shut up. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, yeah, we should have Ahsoka joining us during the break as well. Uh, so that's going to be fun. He hasn't been here for like a month or some shit. Has it been a month? I feel like it's been, it might have been a month. Like three weeks. It's been a while. Three weeks, yeah. three weeks plus we had like a week off. Yeah. So, so we're going to have Ahsoka during the break if traffic doesn't get even worse than it already was for the mans. But we'll uh, keep you posted. Um, anyone have anything they want to announce before we uh, get going? Upload uh, go this week on YouTube. Uh, basically, what happened is my laptop broke. 
Oh, oh and no. problem. Um, <laughs> I left it in London to get repaired. So I haven't been able to do anything. But now I have my mom's computer, so I can use that. True. Yeah. And also a, God, kind of favors. adjacent with my why I'm up here playing D D from a laptop on bad internet until um james can take the covid test uh in a few days and find out with me for sure has it or, or doesn't i'm gonna be here so my streams are kind of on hold until at the earliest like wednesday because he'll be taking the test on tuesday because that'll be how long it took for the person who gave it to him to like test positive mm -hmm. so <clears throat> i'm gonna be gone for a bit also means like very minimal discord social media because internet up here is like eh, so f dude but at least at least you know uh, there's worse pl worse places to be, I suppose, right? Oh, absolutely. You know? Like, it's still like, you know, I can only complain so much. I have a nice cottage and spend time with the dogs and stuff. So exactly. Worse, worse things can have happened. Yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Nobody else? The episode of Duke Lens things came out literally today, so, hey. you know. With, uh, with Dallas, Dallas. Right? Yeah. Yeah, from uh, Play Dicely and the Storm Chases podcast, so I'm gonna give that a listen. Yeah, check it out. It's out oh, yeah. freaking well. It'll be out freaking everywhere within the next 24 hours. It takes a little while, but Spotify at least. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, my announcement is I'm angry. My food is delayed. <laughs> angry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Wee. 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 This is He's got the pumpy shirt on. World problem. This is my first world problem mm. section of the uh, like the announcements. We just <laughs> nice. My nice. food. <laughs> Someone else is cooking and delivering to my door. <laughs> <laughs> it's not taking here too yet. long. <laughs> All right. Wait, is this two weeks in a row that Corvus complained that his food is late? No, I think last so. week I didn't. No, I didn't order. No, the week, week. the week before. The week before. I, ordered, like, I would have thought yeah. that maybe he'd have learned to order it earlier, but you know. I it's a, it's, it's becoming a bi-weekly tradition. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't use that you can't say bi anymore. It's not Pride Month. <laughs> okay. They only print. They only okay. print that I was looking for June. some kind of joke, but they only print that magazine in June. By week. Or once I decided better. Good job. Um, that's that's fucking character progression right there. Um, Woo. so with that said, let's uh, get into it then. Last we left off. You guys left to continue your trip down to <clears throat> the port city of Strathmore. Uh, and on your first night of, uh, of camping on the road, you got... Well, on the way, on the way, you, you had an interaction with a couple of ravens that seemed to kind of been following and stalking you. And then when the evening came, you were all transported to a mysterious village by a... By a just a cloud of mist and fog oh yeah i forgot about fucking god damn it <laughs> <laughs> where you found yourselves on the streets of a town called uh, borovia which you learned from talking to two children um which borovia called... town or a city or like i thought it was like a whole country or something and... uh, borovia is the is the is the the town slash city oh. slash whatever um okay. It's the place. If you'd said town slash yeah. city slash country, I would have shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, town, city, um, which you which you got told by uh, a couple of children, uh, Rose and Thorn, uh, which they also told you that there was supposedly a strange a monster in the basement of their house, and they really wanted you to suss that out before they would deem it safe to go inside. Uh, upon entering the house. You found it to be abandoned. Uh, you found it to be home to some animated objects, whether it's suits of armor or a broom. Uh, but also found out that um, there was supposed to be a baby uh, in the nursery, which when you checked, the baby wasn't there. You got attacked by the ghost of the, um, the, 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 the children's nurse slash maid of the, fa of the family that lived there. Um, and later found her corpse in a uh, coffer or a box in a, a stash room somewhere uh, upstairs. Also found the corpses of Rose and Thorn um, 
in their room, which was locked from the outside, the, the window bricked up from the outside, um, which when you then learned that Rosenthorn were, in de were indeed dead, but for some reason cannot get to rest until whatever monster is down in the basement of the house has been taken care of, which you agreed to do. Um, they had this one-on-one -on -one copy of, of, of the house in the form of a, like a dollhouse in their room, on which uh, Rose showed you the secret entrance that leads you to uh, the basement of the house, which you then uh, went into, and you arrived um, down the stairs, in which is now definitely, after a long descent, the cellar slash basement of the house. Uh, what you see right now is the following. Let me quickly grab my notes. One second. Boom. Uh, the wooden spiral staircase uh, that started from the attic ends in a narrow tunnel stretching uh, several ways. Um, the tunnel itself uh, stretches south, but there's a lot of... Um, Places that where you can where you can kind of go uh, into separate rooms on both the east and west side of uh, this tunnel. Um, yeah, what do you guys what do you guys want to do? Oh, and at the moment you leave the stairway into this hallway, mm -hmm. you just hear this eerie, incessant chant echoing throughout the tunnels. Oh, uh, it's impossible for you to gauge where the sound is coming from at this point in time. And you have no idea what is being said in the chant, but you just hear this eerie chant kind of just echoing through the, now, through the corridors. When you say impossible... Mm -hmm. Don't eat me. Wait, no, right? I have, like... I mean, do you want to try and um, figure out what it's saying? I, I, yeah, I do. But, you know, I hear impossible and I think, oh, that's probably not possible. I mean, you can, you can try. You can always try. I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a shot. A, I'm going to try and with, uh, this listen keenly. Make a perception with disadvantage? With disadvantage, yeah. Oh, oh, God, I just threw it on the floor. Nice. Oh, I rolled a 17 and an 18. Okay. Uh, that makes it a 22? Or, no, wait, it might be 23. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, you can't add. Hold on. Yeah. I, I, I don't remember if I have a plus 5 or plus 6, and I don't have my character sheet open quick. Uh, stall! <laughs> uh, 23. 23? Yes, sir. Excuse me. Um, Let's have a look. You still have no idea where the exact chanting is originating from, uh, due to the echo and and the distance between you and and the source of the chanting. But due to uh yeah, due to the the um, how high your role was, you pick up one phrase which is he is the ancient is something that you hear pick up from the chant the rest of it oh, don't know but something you do discern is just the words he is the ancient so it's in common it is in common yes okay how long do i have left on my daylight i like think we decided hour? that when you went into the like staircase we said you yeah. would have like 15 minutes left so okay. about that I'm just gonna be. I mean, like, doesn't matter where I am. But I'm fucking showing where we are. So let's get the fucking front. <laughs> just kind of. So like... this is a southward running corridor with just like lots uh, of doors. Well, let me rephrase. It goes both north and south, and right. there's two doors on the eastern side of the tunnel and one door on the western side of the tunnel. Uh, and it also goes around the corner we, if you go north, and when you go south, it opens up into a bigger space. Are we able to, like, hear what direction the chanting's from? It's just all around. Everywhere. All around. There's no, you have no idea where, where, okay. where to discern where the sound is coming from. Okay. Does it, when you say it's all around, is it like it's coming from multiple sources, or simply that it's just 
echoing through the chambers. Just because it's echoing through chambers, it's it, it comes from it orig originates from one point, but due to the length of tunnels and chambers and the sound just echoing all around, it's you just cannot discern where the sound is coming from at all. The acoustics here are crazy. <laughs> we say that. Um, lot, I'm going. A lot of parallel walls and stuff. It's not great. Any, uh, uh, well, anyone want to check out one of the doors? I mean, I mean, I will just walk like you said. There's one on, like the eastern wall, right? Uh, there's two on the eastern wall, so one more north, one a little more south. Yeah. And then across from the one that is on the south, there's also one on the western side of that tunnel. I'll go to the one then, the one on the west. The one on the western side? Yar. Okie dokie. Because I think. I want to listen in, see if I can hear any, like, loud of chanting or anything from that room. Okay. Um. The chanting, equally as loud, equally as hard for you to discern. What you see when you uh, walk into this door, though, is that you can uh, you see two crypts hewn from the earth, um, sealed with a uh, stone slab. Um, the ones that you're looking at specifically, mm -hmm. you see one of the stone slabs is etched with the name Rosavalda Durst. Mm -hmm. And the un the other one is uh, Thornbolt Durst. So the two children. Oh, they're full names. The kids, the kids' <laughs> graves. Yes, empty, of course. But, but when there remains upstairs, am I crazy? Yeah. Yeah, empty. Correct. The parents probably made graves because they know they were dead, but they locked them in there or like were protecting them. whatever their reason was. They knew the bodies weren't there, but they made this as a memoriam. I just. Well, they were going I... to kill the kids, and they just had the the graves in, or whatever you call them in, just, in preparation just like leave that room like just do a, there's no other, like other doors in that room right well no i just do a quick about to go well nothing in there <laughs> other than the horrifying truth of two tombs or crypts i i, I, what's that, I know scuff a guy you know i don't know it seems like your expertise more than anyone else's so if you don't know, I think we're all fucked. Uh, I'll check the door opposite that one. Okay. Uh, same. Two crypts. Uh, one stone slab etched with uh, the name Gustav Durst. Uh, this hmm. particular crypt, uh, the coffin is empty. Uh, and one stone slab is etched with the name Elizabeth Durst, uh, which is also an empty coffin. Uh, they have I everything. would like to investigate Gustav's coffin. Okay. For any potential goodies or secrets. All right. Make an investigation check with advantage because you have your uh, your goggles. Oh, which is blessed because I just rolled a, nat a natural one and then threw my dice at my fucking balls and it dropped on the floor. <laughs> my god. Uh, you gotta relax, man. That's not where the dice go. Seven. It is on the right side. Seven? Yup. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, let me just quickly scroll. 777. Seven hundred and seventy-seven <laughs> quadrillion. Uh, you kind of slide what well, the, the the coffin like lid was kind of half exposing um the inside, which made it so that you could already tell that it was empty or that there was no corpse in it at least. Uh, you kind of groaning haul the stone like lid from from the rest of the the coffin. Uh, to find nothing but dust and dark air inside. Spit into the coffin. <laughs> oh, I, thought, I thought you were climbing into the coffin. Yes, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I would become Gustav. <laughs> I was Gustav Lie down. this whole time. <laughs> I am Gustav Crash. now. <laughs> oh, I, I spit and then I leave and I shut the door. Okay. Anything Not even... Buried with our own children? 
I mean, kind of fucked up. Or they just got it all ready, I suppose. Yeah, but they're in opposite rooms. Like, that's. It feels like an odd thing to to organize. Well, it I mean, definitely seems like an odd thing to organize and then not even put the kids in there, right? Unless they didn't get a chance to before they got. But they aren't in there either. They're not. They're not. Hmm. Well, yeah, because who's going to put them in there? If they couldn't even put their kids in there, they're not going to go, oh, I'm dying. I know. Let me crawl to my coffin <laughs> and lay in but there. It seems odd to make preparations like these and not have a plan for when you do croak to end up in well, there. I no one's going to be able to crawl and track a lot, themselves. I mean, a lot grave. of people like to think that they're not going to go. Like, people put I'm stuff sure in place but don't necessarily make plans. You know, it's you know. A just in case, maybe something. Well, actually, you know, they were crazy psychopathic killers, so maybe not. Maybe <laughs> you know, maybe you're onto something, Kevin. <laughs> maybe the fucking graves aren't actually for them, and it's just I don't fucking know some weird ritual shit. Maybe they Speaking fucking of weird ritual the... shit. Who the fuck's chanting? If everyone in the house is dead, Go maybe on. they've got a magic yeah, music yeah. box, and they just—it's real fucking weird. They're on some mm -hmm. weird music. You can hear this at the tavern. Okay. <laughs> I hate it here. Dorime. Right, whatever. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I will go to the north and check the other western door. By the other eastern door. That's what I meant. Yeah. I even drew it right. <laughs> Uh, the north, there's two more crypts. Uh, one is a blank stone slab. Um, nothing in, uh, etched on it, and the, the coffin, the lid isn't on it, and it's completely empty. The other one is a stone slab um, is standing against the nearby wall. Uh, it, the slab that is meant to seal this crypt. Uh, etched into the slab, you can see the name uh, Walter Durst, but also this crypt, completely empty. One of them was blank? Wait, so there are two coffins, one was Walter and one was blank? Yes. Do you think anything weird would happen if I, like, etched someone's name into the blank one? Um, Fancy death note, but death who, coffin? Who's, <laughs> depends on certain things. Whose name were you thinking of putting on there? Yours. Good luck fitting my entire name on that small slab. <laughs> I've got, I can choose, write pretty small. Choose a shorter name. Okay. Like that's that. Cool. That's not my real name. Uh, that's true. That's like a full name. Well, I Down assume it would Briar have to be a full name. Of Briar's well, time. right, but it's still a real name, right? Well, no. How about we just don't name, then it's not your name. No, no. How about well, we just don't fucking anyone's is. fucking name in the car? I'll tell you who has got a short name. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's. Oh, I actually don't know. Don't no, know Jax, Jax, Jax is too close to make jokes about that. He's <laughs> getting on in his ears. And we are <laughs> not well, then he has somewhere to go to. It's a sudden he house, can... like at the same time we do that. Like, <gasps> it worked. Live out the rest of his very numbered days in the coffin <laughs> very... that we got from. <laughs> when you say very numbered, you tracking? Or... <laughs> like 18 days remaining. Davian's there with a the journal. Makes just... <laughs> I. Hmm. Hold on. What if we wrote like? I think, write it's bad idea. Knuckles, I think it's a bad spark, idea to write oh. any. How about we... I, I don't mean, think it's a bad happen. idea to write anything. I think that Look, seems like a bad idea to write like it, a it's hero tempting, of our time. You know, it is tempting fate. We're not going to put anyone's name on it. It's bad. It's Brooks, bad. what's your last name? <laughs> it's uh, I... it's it's Brooks. Uh, go fuck yourself. Right. I signed to Kess to tell the group. Uh, considering that ditching a written invitation is what got us here, I feel like just the written word and names in general are something we should avoid with this guy. Well, I don't know, he's name. weird about writing things down. I will repeat that. Count Strahd. Fun. What? Write no, we did have his fucking full name. It was like Zubadu von Strahd. No, it was Strahd von Von... Von Der... Von Sandwich. Von... Von... Von Rap. Von... <laughs> Strad Von Sandwich. The Strad Hills are alive with the sound of Strad music. 
How about we just don't etch anything on the fucking coffin yeah, because it's bad. It's, it's bad karma. Right. It's bad energy, and I don't. Okay, okay. What about someone that you really don't like? Nope. Dabby and Brock. Um. We're not having that conversation. Fifty gold. I'll carve my own name into it. A hundred gold. We just all fucking leave because I'm don't done with this tempt conversation. Me, Frodo. <laughs> Can I can I minor illusion it so it looks like Davian's name is carved into it? Yeah, sure. I've, I've seen. created a template for you. Doesn't that look right? Yeah, it looks great. Let's what about just like a uh, uh, oh, Dargan's got brain freeze. Yeah, sorry, my thing, my thing froze again. So. You're good. You're good. <laughs> what, what do you what ask? What about uh, like a eulogy or whatever? What do you call it when you put it on a gravestone? Epitaph. I don't know, we don't have gravestones at home. An epitaph. Died as he lived. Fucking tragic. <laughs> I'm gonna add that to the minor illusion. Died from a fall down a well. <laughs> Broken ass man! <laughs> Broken ass man. Stopped by Broken his own man. arrow. Killed I can, by what? That's Killed very, by wild. I fully believe I could go either of those ways. Killed no by in my his life. own pet. By wild animals. Owner would never betray me. Absolutely, let's not fucking put anything on the coffin. Yes. And let's move on. I don't even want to be in this room anymore. Let's just come on. on. Well, you no, because now the idea's in my head. Someone pass me a. Detour. No, no, no. And a I, mallet. I don't have one. No, I just have knives. I, if you try, and I'm going to put into this coffin. No, I'm going to carve. I'm going to carve Strad von Zerovich just out of curiosity. Oh, I fucking no. hate this. This is a bad idea. I'm gonna go uh, stand next to Daigon and just sign. How long do you think until this goes really terribly wrong? <clears throat> and I just start counting down from ten. <laughs> so you're, you're carving the name Strad von Zerovich in the in the in the thing. I no one is gonna give me the tools to, so I need to make sure no. that I have the tools. Okay. No I'm, one will help you in this. I'm endeavor. going to go over to Daigon and Kes, and I'm just going to sign. No good. <laughs> And I, just, I don't even I have those no like, oh, yes, the right one. No good. I feel like you don't even say, you can just be like, you know what I mean? And I'll just like, just easily like get the message across. <laughs> yeah, the word just like I, I have, nine words. I have 10 pitons. Uh -huh. So I can use one of those and. Just like scratch it out really ugly and like. I guess I would have to scratch it. It's going to take forever though. His name's long as fuck. I'm if you want to spend a couple minutes doing that, you can. I could help. I'm not gonna, but I could. Would... Uh... Kesh, could you do the illusion thing. thing again, and I'll... I will do the, the illusion thing again. Hog, with Stradron Zerovich. name on it. Alright, And also yeah. the I, same I, epitaph. <laughs> Dark as he lived, tragically. I will use a... a Pete hunt to scratch Strad von Zerovich into the unmarked. Okay. Um, takes you a few minutes to do. Uh, and when you finish, uh, you can feel the slab kind of like heat up in your hands. And no. the wording changes. No, just, it doesn't. To just nice try. Aww. I fucking told you something's off. Told you. Look at that. Okay, Look at that and tell now me. what do you think would have happened if you'd put one of our names on you fucking moron? Absolutely terrible idea, and I'm really glad I didn't. But <laughs> yeah, well, fucking no. maybe next time, let's not fuck with the creepy shit. But it did something no, weird no, going no, no, on. No, 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 no. If we do, next don't time, put down fuck. our names on it. You know right, what? I'm, you I'm, can I'm, have this conversation. Lesson. Noted. I'm going to go have this conversation in the, in the hallway, because fuck this room. I will follow him out. Let's Same. go. What's great is no room can look creepy because it's like the midday sun in every room. <laughs> For like 10 more minutes and then it's just gone. There's a wall floating around. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this oh. is, that's that's what was in those two rooms. So, so far you've seen six like crypts that all seem to belong to people of the Durst family and then one unmarked one. Um, which remains, the choice from now remains yours. Do so you want to go north around the corner or do you want to just go continue south and into that like... More open room that it op that the hallway opens into. I'm gonna go around the corner. I'll, I'll I'll peek around the corner. By peek, I mean I'll send the balls if the ball gets shot at, and then put my head around. Well, let me see if the ball gets shot at. Hold on. Oh no, you have to check. <laughs> Which ball? The left or right? Uh, ball does not get oh. shot at. Middle one. Okay. 
ball does not get shot at. Uh, oh, quick, quick, my head get shot. Uh, what you see when good. you just kind of poke around your head, you see a small set of stairs that go down into a chamber with uh, a pretty pretty big like square table with four chairs around it, and that is really all you see from from where you're looking. Well, I found a way down. There's some more stairs. I will. This goes oh, further yeah. down. Absolutely. Look, yeah, the, the first thing I want to do is go, go down. Deeper. I mean, like maybe like three or four like steps, steps down. You know, what I mean, like it's not like super. That is deep. still technically stairs, and yeah. I'm sticking to what I say. Okay, okay. Just making sure that I didn't like give you the wrong idea <laughs> or anything. I and I. says exactly what I said, and then peeks her head around and goes, "Oh, I was so excited about going down more. You <laughs> 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 well, disappointed me." I will like to check for traps as I walk forward. Make an more investigation check. Oh, that's a uh, thirteen. Thirteen, as far as you can tell, there's no traps. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, so as you enter the room, uh, alcoves line a uh, pretty filthy room. Uh, each alcove uh, is stocked with a moldy straw pallet, and at the end of the hall, uh, the wooden table leans on uneven legs, its surface scratched and stained. And a slender hallway crawling with insects leads to uh, another short set of stairs. Hallway crawling. Wait, you said insects? Orange. Mm. Yes. Are any of these spiders? Spiders aren't technically insects, are they? Right? They're arachnids. So, no, no spiders, technically. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it so we've got, like, okay. millipedes and centipedes. Yeah, and like, that sort of shit. Yeah. Add, add millipedes? Yeah, roaches and... Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But there is, wow. like, that, that hallway does lead to another set of steps that goes further down. If only I were a swarm keeper ranger. I I see the insects, and I just look at Davian expectantly, hoping for a fireball to <laughs> burn them all away. I just look, I just look back at Daigon quizzically, like, what? I, and I point to the bugs, and then I just, like, go like this, kind of, like, hoping How many bugs? like, flickering fire. How many bugs? Are the wall? You said the walls are crawling with them? Uh, no, the hallway. Just the, just the floor of the hallway is crawling. The floor of the yeah. hallway. Crawling with, with insects from like, you know, worms, roaches, millipedes, the, the, all, all that gross. Just ugh. How long is the hallway? How long is the hallway? Hmm. Uh, but... It's like 15 feet, and then you get to the staircase. It's not a very long hallway, it's just a particularly gross one. I'm gonna just create bonfire, I guess. Okay. Just five foot at a time, just... Yeah, I mean, you do. Uh, if you do that, yeah, you Burn fucking... The bugs. You roast all the bugs, and... Uh, that's one way yeah. to do pest control, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. Some of the some of the like bigger insects that are a little like a little squeal as you Ooh. fucking roast and toss them. Terrible. But um, yeah, that that hallway is now cleared of uh, any gross bugs or insects. Off to you, and I'll gesture to um, Elazrin. I'll go. I'll start heading. Okay. Heading in. All right past a bunch of. Uh, now burnt worms and roaches you go down stone carved steps um you come into a room uh where a bucket hangs atop a well in the center of the room alcoves line the walls without any doors there's no privacy each alcove a moldering uh straw mattress and a padlock chest inside um I'm going around and unlocking chests. The bucket hangs from like a rope and pulley mechanism, um, bolted to uh, the crossbeams above the well. Um, so yeah, there's five alcoves, five little side rooms without a door that has bat lock chests in each of them. Uh, you said you want to go okay. around opening the chests, uh, Kess, yes. you said? If Kess yeah. is the first one to split off mm -hmm. and is going towards an alcove, I'm going to go with her because I don't want someone yeah. their own. I'm, I'm gonna be following Kess unless otherwise stated in case I'm frozen or something. So just since we were the two that kind of initiated this, so I'll be sticking okay. around near her unless otherwise stated. Alright, um, well. I will follow those two then, but I will stay on the other side of the alcove, like, entryway. Okay. Um, do you just, you know, use your thieves tools to pick open the padlock on the first chest, Kess? Yeah. 
Go for it. Make a make a check with that. So that's your uh, your dex and your proficiency modifier added to your d20. Ooh. Uh, d20. All right. Uh, in addition to some worthless personal effects, this chest contains eleven gold pieces and sixty silver pieces in a pouch made of what seems like human skin. Ew. Ew. I am taking Yummy. the money and dropping the skin bag. <laughs> okay. So it looks like it's just. The... Can you tell what sort of skin it is? Human. No, it's in like like where from on a human. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No idea. No idea. Coin pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ball bag. I'm actually no, gonna uh, throw. I'm gonna throw it at. at fill it full of ball bearings. You're gonna throw it at me. I'm gonna dodge that shit. I don't know what it is from this distance. Kes is throwing something at me, and I don't trust her. If it was anyone else, yeah. I'd so catch this, it. this like human skin like pouch just like flies past your head. Uh, <laughs> do you just continue? Uh, do you continue to the next chest? Uh... Yes. All right. Uh, again, uh, check with your thieves' tools, please. Uh, that one's not so good. Nine. Nine. Um, yeah. You fail to pick this lock, unfortunately. Hey, hey, Brooks. What? Can you break a lock? I mean. If there's a chance I could pick it, but yeah, sure, I'll break it. Could you break Fine. it? I will take a small chisel out of my fucking smith tools. Mm -hmm. And I'll sort of just wedge it into the key section of the lock. Okay. And I'm just going to fucking whack it. Make a strength and check. And try and bust the internal mechanism of the lock rather than breaking the whole chest. Uh, For the sake of uh, this, instead of a strength check, you could choose for... um. Athletics as well, just today. Do you have your proficiency? Because it's definitely like just athletics? a raw, a raw okay, so, thing that you're doing. So a strength, a strength check is twenty two. Yeah. Athletics is twenty eight. Mm -hmm. You yeah, no. completely sh shatter the fucking padlock open. Um, do you lift the lid of the chest? I will leave that to Cass. It's the her chest, and she was excited to open it. Okay. I was like, "Thank you." It insulted me, and then I will open it. All right. Uh, inside this chest, you find a folded piece of black cloth, uh, seemingly Ooh. holding something or like covering something. I'm going to open it without touching whatever's inside. Okay. You open it to reveal three moss agates worth about 10 gold pieces each. So some gemstones. Cool. Moss agate. Yes. Agate, Next. agate, agate. Next. Yep. Okay. Another uh, thief's tool check, please. Teeves Thools. Teeves Thools. 16. 16? Yeah. You open yeah. this chest up to reveal inside. This is really fucking perfect. Not pre planned or anything. Uh, a black leather eye patch with in it a carnelian, uh, a yeah. yellow gemstone uh, sewn in it. Just like in the middle of the eye patch. Worth about 50 gold pieces. You got some bling on your eye patch in case you want to, you know, rock that during your pirate trip, I guess. I'm going to put it on and turn to look at Dagon. <laughs> Can't wait to find out it's cursed and eats a eyeball. <laughs> uh, do you, which, which eye did you put it on? Have I seen you put the blindfold on? I think so. Banana? We have one. Eye patch. Eye patch, that's what I meant. We have many eye, eye patches. I don't know if I put it on yet. I it's only a half blindfold. a blindfold. <laughs> Shut up. The blind. Would be a full blindfold for me, depending on what eye I put it on. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I think that I think another brain freeze. Hold on. Yeah. They can... I'm frozen. I'm back. There hey, we go. Dagon couldn't didn't know what to make out of you. <laughs> well, no, I what did you put over your right or your left eye? I'm gonna put it over my right eye. Thumbs up and point to because my right eye is my yellow one, so now we match. <laughs> hey. Nice. I'm gonna keep it my on and yellow, move on to the next chest. Blue. Okay. Um, hell yeah. Next chest. I mean, you know, you know the drill at this point. Give me another Thief's Tools yeah. check. Do, do, do. This is fun. Uh, 
Ten. Ten? Yeah. Well, due to the I age... I hate digital dice. Due to the age of the lock, uh, ten was the DC, so... Oh, sick. Uh, I this love chest digital dice. contains an ivory hairbrush <laughs> with silver bristles worth about 25 Which gold one? pieces. Next. You go next? Yeah. Well, how much was that one? Uh, 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 25 gold pieces worth. Or uh, the value of 25 gold pieces, I should say. Okay, next one. Same shit. A natural one. Oh, God. Nope. You're, uh, you put your thieves tools in and it breaks and gets stuck in the lock. So any attempt to pick oh, it God. is not going to be able to happen. Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want this time? This one really insulted me. Can't How badly is it? it jammed in? Does it look like I can't it's... do the same thing? Uh, no, yeah, the, the the lock, like the the lock itself, is completely like filled, and there's no. Real is it room. like? Is the lock built into the chest? No, it's a padlock. It... It's like it's a padlock, so you have. So I could your... attempt to rip the, uh, like, see fucking hooks out. Yeah. Without damaging the chest Shackle. too much. Yeah. 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 That's what it's called. I will Absolutely. attempt to do that. Uh, strength or athletics, Dutch? Uh, athletics. Anything that this is like just raw, like upper body fucking. <laughs> so yeah, just give that me is a natural nine, so a total of nineteen. Okay. Yeah, you fucking pull it off. Um, lid kind of just like flies, uh, falls backwards, and reveals the contents to you. And you, I being will. a pretty you know experienced smith, I would say, uh, recognize that there's a short sword in this chest, but. You also recognize that this is not a normal short sword. This is a silvered short sword. Okay. Ooh, um, I'm gonna... Man. I'm gonna pick it up. Mm -hmm. I don't immediately die. No. I'm gonna hand the lock that's still locked i guess yeah though, i mean with yeah the technically <laughs> attach with, with the hardware on and just uh -huh. hand that to Cass. which one of us if anyone uses a short sword davian anyone else no i actually yeah i i mean before we came in here i i put my bow on my back and i have a short sword and dagger in hand so <clears throat> what a fancy one <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, hold, I'll hold it out to him by the blade. I'm. What's that? I'm pretty sure this I is. Will. I don't. I don't think it's solid silver. I think it's just silvered, so it's worth keeping for uh, in mm -hmm. case we find anything sketchy. No, like the whole what, like weapons, monk weapons is the whole thing. But my list is proficiencies, short sword, and simple weapons. I didn't think I could use a short sword. I didn't think it was like a monk weapon. I think it was I can use it, I just can't use my decks. You can be you'll I be proficient, you just won't be able to do monk things with it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. For future. So, but no, yeah, I will, I'm not, I'm not uh, with monk weapons you can choose to do either strength or dex, right, as your modifier for it. Whereas uh, with a short no. sword it would just be strength, maybe? Uh what's it, what does that work? Is so, that yeah, works? I think I think so I'd have my it's... proficiency modifier, but I wouldn't be able to use dex because it's not a monk weapon. Yes. So that's what it is. Yeah. It's more the <sighs> but, 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 but... I'll f you can use you can use dex for a short sword. It's a yeah. For, for, you can use dex. Well, then, for, there we so go. Any, any monk know. weapon, you can use dex instead of strength. You can't use strength instead of dex for a monk weapon. Right. Okay. Um. Basically, yeah, it allows you to use dex for whatever weapon you wield. As long yeah, as it's I was a just more weapon. trying to figure out is a short sword a monk weapon. But I guess it doesn't matter because it has um, a finesse trait anyway. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't believe a short sword is considered a monk weapon. No. no. Look that up. Um, right. Well, I will take it. I will. Does it have a scabbard? Uh, yeah, it does. It has like a little. Okay. little nothing, I will. Uh, nothing super fancy. Just no, like a short a, sword is considered a monk weapon. Oh, it is. Monk weapons are short swords and any simple melee weapon that doesn't have two handed. Oh yeah, there you property. go. So it is a monk weapon. So short sword is the only martial weapon. You the can only use sword. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you cool. can use it if you want. There you go. Figure that out. Yeah, so it comes with uh, with a scabbard, which is not very fancy, just like a, 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 a piece of leather to to keep it in. Some like uh, yeah, I'm just binding, throwing my shit. short sword in my backpack, I guess, and throwing the silvered one onto my belt. Okay. Last yeah. chest. That was the last chest. That was five. Oh, was it? Yeah. I thought that was six. <laughs> no, there were five. 
Oh, okay, cool. Five alcoves, then, five um, rotty, rotting beds, five chests. When we're leaving all the alcoves, I'm going to toss the lock in the air and blast it with Eldritch Blast. It's for fun. I'll say that. Uh, I'll allow you to just hit that. You know, no worries. So you just toss the thing in the air and just just, just out of sheer spite and, and annoyance, just blast the lock with the Eldritch Blast. And it just gets sent into the well. And you just hear it's very satisfying. Is there a silver short sword on D and D Beyond, or should be? I think it will just be. Like, it will be like maybe it'll it would like, be just a regular short, short sword. sword. It'll be like in brackets damage. silvered or some shit. Like I don't know how D and Beyond does it. Let me check real quick. Damage wise, and like it work, it functions identically to a short sword. It just can affect certain creatures in a way a normal one couldn't. So mechanically, rolling your regular short sword for dice rolls would still be the same. I think. I'm gonna quickly check how it's listed in the inventory though, just for the sake of. Because uh, yeah, I don't see one. Hold on, give me a second. I see a ruby. I know you one. you um type in a regular sword, uh, short sword, and then on the options you can click for it to be silvered. Oh like, right, yeah, it's like a little, a little thing. Oh, true. So yeah, just add yeah. a regular short sword to your thing, and then you should be able to mark it as silvered. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah. Equipment. Hewoid. Hewoid. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Oh, you have to just edit and do edit. Yeah, like if I click on my spear and then I click customize, yeah, customize or silver. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I remember being. I just remember being silver for the monsters. I think for the uh, Witcher one shot, I remember doing that shit for like fucking everything. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yep. That was a good one shot, dude. That was silver a lot of fun. for monsters. It was a lot of fun. Dildos for the boys. Huh? Medallion's coming. <laughs> <laughs> this is a place of power. place of power must be um all right so this is pretty much all this room has to offer um the well in the in the room is like, there's water in it and there's like a bucket and like a whole like pulley system uh other than that uh towards the southeast corner of the room there's another hallway that stretches into a set of stairs uh, that continues it, on it yeah, is this a perfectly ordinary well? You want to go check it out? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is he going to pull down another well? Seems a little, little sussy. Well. Yeah, but there's water in this one, so... True. What is that? Do I, should I investigate it? Yeah. Oh, no, I can't... Oh, I keep dropping tight. Oh. Huh. Alright, I will investigate the well. Does it smell funky? Uh, it definitely smells like, um, the water is probably not that good for you anymore. Um. So the investigation was bad. <laughs> it's a six. Seems like a well to you, brother. I'm going to shout into it. Just, ah! Like, see if, you know. Yeah, the well shouts back. No, uh, no, nothing. Just seems pretty normal. Gonna... Is it? Solid construction. Yeah, it's a stone, like stone bricks, and then there's this like pulley system above it, uh, with made from wooden beams. It has like a bucket, Is and there a bucket on a rope hanging. Yeah, I'm gonna send the bucket down. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it back up with some water, and hopefully there is water in it. Correct. Definitely has a bit of a a, a musty. An Smell odor, too. a funk, a, a funky, and a funky odor. Oh, yeah. it's like when you open a water bottle that's been in your fucking locker for six months. Yeah. Oh. Try here. Is there... so, yeah. Is it a long way down to the surface of the water? Or is it uh, pretty like, high up? Like ten feet. It's it's not super deep until you until you hit water. Do we see anything down there? Like Frodo in the swamp. No, it just seems like a well, man. Like, you reckon that right. whoever used to live in these, like, dwellings, this is what they used as a source for, you know, their water. Well, I'm satisfied, I guess. Mm. <clears throat> it's a normal well, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> smells a bit weird. Just don't drink any of it, please. Or full. Again. Okay, we were going down that well with purpose, right? And you so... went down with terminal velocity. 
<laughs> Probably not quite that fast, but... <laughs> oh no, his ass would say otherwise. I don't know, it looks like it's hot. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> Hi. I, I'm going to be at that. Uh, you said there was like another doorway. Uh, just, yeah, just more hallway that stretches away from this room uh, to a few steps that go back up. And then when you're atop of those stairs, you can choose to either go straight ahead, which goes even further up, or you can take a right down a pretty lengthy corridor. Oh. I will kind of wait at the impasse, but start sending the orb down the uh, the right pathway. It looks like that was really long. Oh, as you enter this uh, part of the building, um, the ghostly chanting that you've been hearing throughout the dungeon gets discernibly louder as you oh. uh, enter this, this corridor. Uh, and you can discern that it's coming from... Um, the path that you just sent your uh, thingamabob into. So the yeah. path that goes oh. south, like the long corridor. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. kind of wait for everyone to finish their, sh their shit. Finish what they're doing. Who's and having we... a shit? <laughs> down the well. Trousers down, down the well. Yeah, I was just going to say, waiting for everyone to finish their shit, and just Davian's like got his ass hanging over the corner of the well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... So, well, the chanting seems to be louder coming this way. Well, do we want to head towards the creepy chanting, or do we want Probably to head away should. from it? Probably like, towards. Do I see anything down this, like, corridor? Uh, you see that at the te at the end of the corridor, you, uh, another descent begins. What about the words? Do we hear more words besides he is the ancient? No. You are now he close is. enough to the source for it to for you to be able to discern where it's coming from. Not quite what is being said yet. He's the shining in the light without whom I cannot see. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of ghost for all the fans out there. Big mm. up. Big up. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, so, I'll wait. start heading down. That way. Which way, Gandalf? Left or right? I mean, I've started to head down that long corridor. So I'll just follow Elazarin. Yeah. I'm gonna hurry a little so I can be on pace with Elazarin, because I would like him to be walking ahead on his own. Okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, who's leading? Me. You're I leading. guess Elazarin and Brooks. Is it wise enough for us to walk side by side? Uh, I still have. Um, oh no, this uh, is a single file line blessing, kind of thing. Right? Sorry. This okay, is a single I would be line. immediately behind a Lazarin. Like, <clears> if <throat> I could, I'd have one arm around him. So this is. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm like ready to grab him. Yeah, okay. So this is a Lazarin leading. Boy. Yep. So are you just going, or like, what are you doing? I mean, I'm gonna look for traps to go, but I'm not like. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm gonna be a little lackadaisical with it because I just kind of want to get to the end of this fucking corridor. In that case, like, make a lackadaisical investigation check. Can I assist him? Because I'm looking. Oh, oh you're, can I check? You're right behind him. Just... You're right behind him. Like there's, you cannot see where he's looking. Like, it's... like I can't even lean over his shoulder. I mean, nah, nah, bitch. Okay. for one that's lackadaisical, it's a natural twenty. <laughs> okay. In that so case, like, mm, oh, it's because um, Brooks is holding his hips from behind. You kind of. Notice that um, like this scene. particular corridor, compared to the others, uh, the floors are a lot cleaner. Uh, and as you kind of, you did that is thing that you find odd that this particular hallway is like clean or clean. whatever. Uh, you then, as you kind of look to the floor, find a five foot long, ten foot deep pit hidden under some rotten wooden planks under a thin layer of dirt, uh, and the pit is filled with sharpened wooden spikes at the bottom. Oh. I kind of, like, do a thing where I hope, like, I can warn people in time before it's, like, just a build-up of, like, just like, like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I said, oh, there's a, careful, there's a big hole, and lots of spikes. How um, big's the hole? Big. Five foot long. Not how, fucking, not how yeah. fucking deep it is, you 
can't. How fucking It's far on the floor. I have to look I have to look down to see how far across it is, Brooks. Okay? It's not up, is it? I have to look. No. How far is it from here to the other side? No. How deep is it? Five, five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Fuck me. I th I'm going to pick him up and throw him over. <laughs> Small <laughs> jump over a big hole. Yeah, I mean, it's a five foot jump, so it's not like you have to like really... Round. Power, you know, power pose or jump for it. It's just I'm like still, I'm level. still throwing him over. Sure. Yeah, but can Brooks throw a Lazarin five feet? Absolutely. Yeah. How much does a Lazarin weigh? Oh, like, not much. It's not easy to his throw a The heaviest part of a Lazarin would be his multiple coin purses acting as weights. No, the heaviest part of a would be the giant fucking book in his bag. <laughs> that too. Hold on. We can. You're trying to throw. It's hard Something that's potentially like um, two hundred pounds. Yeah. No. Well, no, because this would be <laughs> throwing distance. It's gonna be the fucking Baldur's Gate three shove, like. <laughs> <laughs> is um. Yeah. Okay. As far as like it's carrying, you can, you can throw your heavy load five feet. Yeah. So you, you'll be able to throw a Lazarin across. What's, what's my fucking heavy load? I don't know. It depends on your strength, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The, the, like your heavy load depends load. on your strength. 200 right? to 300 pounds. Oh, dude. So I can throw, throw, shoot a heavy load I can throw 200 to 300 pounds. Yeah, so feet. you'll be able to throw a Lazarin <laughs> five feet across the Fuck the no problem. Jesus Christ! I, I just, just pray to God he doesn't break his giant book. <laughs> oh my! As long as he doesn't face. land on his ass. I land on my face, surely, because I'm like being put like moldy like splinters. Just no, it's wow. like a like a from the like yeah. uh, side like yeah. Not an aggressive throw. You can fucking. Land you just fucking cave it toss him. You just grab by the heels and fucking. <laughs> you. <laughs> He, he didn't duck from head. the fall, but he didn't break his fucking neck on the ceiling. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Okay, okay Kyrgyz, you fuck it up, and I just am perfectly like slam dunk in the hole. <laughs> so you all uh, hop across the uh, the pitfall uh, that Elasmin mm. discovered, uh, and then you get to a point where you can either go left into another s sequence of corridors, or you can continue straight ahead, which goes down Sorry. and around a corner. How is this basement like so like th this is this is more than basement right like what it like what what is this labyrinth that, that, here? well the Who house is this? conjoined on either either side so they didn't really have much room to fuck around with in the house itself so i guess they just built a basement that was massive instead for all that surely that Isn't fucks cool the, the foundation room if there were if there are crypts doesn't that, inside doesn't it doesn't that fuck with the foundations of the other houses in this area this makes no sense well, you don't know what plane we are on. We could be on a plane where it doesn't. It happen. still makes no sense to me. No, it could be, make sense on this plane. We went I, into I, a house where to get into the I basement, we so had to much. go up to the fucking top floor. <laughs> Nothing here makes sense. Let's just accept that it's a shit hole and move on. And I will. That's true. I'm gonna go. When he says move on, I'm gonna. You say it like continues on. Did you say there's another staircase, or did you say it would just continue? Uh, Left or straight? Straight. straight. I'll just go straight. Yeah. I'm gonna go straight, like straight goes into oh. a staircase that goes down, left would be like, you know, okay. another sequence can of, I, of tunnels. Can I hear which way you're chanting louder? Uh, well, as the stairs fall before you, uh, those black depths is definitely where the wretched chanting is coming well, from. You know me, love some cultish chanting. <laughs> How is there a well if there's more mm. shit, whatever? <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm it makes still, no sense. <laughs> I'm still suspect about that well. Well, I'm beginning to well, think. Well, that we're, at the bottom. I'm beginning to think that we're applying logic that doesn't apply in this place. Exactly. That's what. Well, I that's said. why I'm suspect of the well because there's no logic. So maybe there's something in the well. You also just have a grudge against well. Or maybe you touch the water from the well after being trapped down here for fucking months and being lost, and it fucking kills you. Mm. That's what that makes sense. For. Well, I wrote a name in a tombstone, and the tombstone tried to communicate back, so it could yeah. mean anything. Maybe the well. Maybe is if you take a shit in the well, it'll fucking tell you if you've got any fucking fiber in your diet. Who the Maybe if I throw a coin down the well, it will tell me a secret about Strahd. Maybe if you put a coin in the well, it'll f fling it back at speed such that it goes through your fucking forehead. Huh? I. The well would fight back. I have 100% oh, oh, a hundred percent. Oh well. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where Lazarin goes, I go. For as long as he leads the group, I am on his ass. Okay. Whoa. So you go down. I'm and... yelling timber. <laughs> Better move. Better um, move. <clears throat> and as you go down the stairs, there's a small tunnel which leads into um, a pretty large chamber. Uh, the ghostly, the ghostly chant emanating from this area, or from uh, emanates from a few rooms uh, ahead, uh, but it's it fills this room, and you can hear a dozen or so voices just chanting over and over. He is the ancient. He is the land. Just on repeat, non-stop. Um, in this chamber, you seem to be in some sort of a, a reliquary where uh, there's a bunch of items stored in 13 niches along the walls um that is what you well, that's kind of on display in this room um what you also see is that there's two exits uh to this chamber both on the southern end or in the southern wall uh, just uh one more towards the left corner of the uh, of this room and one more towards the right corner Any funky-looking artifacts? A, a bunch, dude. If you want to, you know, if, if you kind of, like, walk along them, you can see a small mummified yellow hand with sharp claws uh, on a loop of rope. Um, you find a knife carved from what seems to you like human bone. Um, a dagger with a rat's skull set into the pommel. Uh, I will... Wait, what was cut from human and bone? I will a knife. spend a spell slot okay. and use detect magic. Um, nothing in this room seems magical. So that's more disconcerting in a way. Uh, you also see um an eight inch diameter varnished orb made from. Orb. Hold on. A Lazarin's light has gone out by now, right? Oh, um, from a from the from the eye of a creature that uh, make a make a nature check, Davian. See if you know what creature this is. Oh, it's good. It's good. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, you recognize the eye to be that of a nothic. A what? A nothic. N o t h i c. These monstrous Not creatures a, a, with uh, an orb, an orb, a varnished orb created from the eye of a nothic. And oh, nothics were creatures with terrible talons and one eye, just a single great oh. eye in the middle of their head, Ooh, and that is gross. that eye is what is this orb is made from. So nothing, <clears throat> nothing in here is magical, right? That was the correct. So I can pick this up without being. Obliterated or something. Yeah. Magical doesn't mean untrapped. It could be sitting on a pressure plate. They could have some toxin on like the handle. Like just because they're not magical doesn't mean they're not dangerous. Hmm? I don't read. You know, rules that out. Again. I'm really mm -hmm. sorry. Without. No, I signed that to Kes. Kes can choose if she wants to share or not. Kes, Kes is like, wait, wait, wait. Let, let, I want to see what happens. Without looking at the eye or anything, mm -hmm. it it's pointed towards us, right? Yeah, it's just like it's like on display. This this is this is, a, this is a reliquary, and you, these items are just on display. Don't know if the cultists or whatever use these items so like, a lot, but we, they're here. we would already be rotting if it was really gonna harm us, right? Because it's sure, man. Looking at it. oh, so. pick it up, give it a little. Is it so? It's like you said, it was varnished. Is it? Yeah. Preserved? Does that mean it's like hard but shiny? It's hard but shiny. Did they, yeah. okay, they like epoxy <laughs> it. Kind of, yeah. Uh, but you also find, you know, <laughs> things like uh, a severed hag finger, a bag full of bat guano, uh, a, a six-inch tall wooden figurine of a mummy with his arm crossed over its chest, uh, an iron pen. Can I take the hag with... finger and like? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. Um, no. You also find an iron pendant adorned with a devil's face, uh, the shrunken, Ooh. shriveled head of a halfling. Um, There's so much shit in here. Yeah. Halflings already have small heads. This thing must be like this big at this point. 
<laughs> like human shrunken heads get pretty small. Uh, a small wooden coffer with inside it a dire wolf's withered tongue. That's 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 all. That's the, that's the entire I list. Hate Just this. shit on display here. Cass is picking Seems up like the knives. Were... <laughs> what the collectors? Just as just as Legend says, like catch and throw in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You drop it? Uh, yeah, I'm instantly just like. Does it, it break? break? It just kind of like doom, 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 doom. and rolls away. Yeah. Well, come on, Legend. You're better than that. I mean, I literally just said I don't want to touch anything in here. And you throw something at me. <laughs> yeah, because there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a weird collection of weirdness. that some yeah. weird people are keeping in that weird basement, that weird house on a weird plane in a weird town. Yeah, and I'd rather not get any more weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird with the why. Cass is just picking up the bone knife and the, mm -hmm. the, the dagger with the skull in it. The, the, the rat, rat skull, skull in the pummel, yeah. Yeah, and just yes, puts why? them in a bag. Sure. You're not gonna let me look at those? If you want to. At the very least, the metal one. I'd like to know if it's any good or not before you fucking bet your life on it. I will give him the rat skull knife. Um, you look at it, uh, Brooks, and like it's qualitatively not the best dagger you've seen, but like it'll 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 do the trick. Like the it's not gonna fail anyone at an important moment. No, it's not gonna just it's like basically shatter the first time you try to use it to stab something or whatever. It seems sturdy enough and to function like a normal dagger would. The choice of pommel is just a bit concerning. Uh, I mean, concerning, eclectic. Scary, weird, freaky. These are what? It's, it's, it's not a spider, and that's all that matters. Concerning an eclectic could be the name of our group, to be fair. <laughs> uh, okay, I will. I'll, you know, fucking hold it out of my hand and check the balance, then pass it back to her. As Kes is putting them in her bag, mm -hmm. I also just say, it seems like creepy face here could spy on us through that invitation since he knew the minute we discarded it these items might not be magical but he might be able to use them to spy on you later so i'd be careful what you keep i'm not keeping them forever i know just just putting One it out end there. of campaign inventory check later <laughs> <laughs> in my bag for now so while you're in this room looking at all these weird fucking, uh, these, these weird relics, constantly hearing the chant uh, repeat itself, just, just constantly going, he is the ancient, he is the land, he is the ancient, he is the land, he is the ancient, he is the land. It How many voices the, is it like? It gives you the fucking heebie-jeebies. What'd you say? Sorry? How many voices does it sound like chanting? Uh, like a dozen or more. Certainly when a dozen more people living here. Mm, <clears throat> would I be able to discern if it was an illusion? You could certainly try. And to put the horror music. Make what a... kind of check would that be? Make a... Let's make an inside <clears throat> check, dude. Fuck it. See if you can, like, hear whether it's, like, actual people or an illusion. Fifteen? Fifteen. It sounds very ghostly, so you doubt, especially with what you've seen, that the people chanting are still alive. But it doesn't sound fake to you, either. Right. Ghost chanting from inside the basement. I'll bet it's their victims and them all Maybe. together <clears throat> in a ghastly choir. We don't know until... So yeah, the only way out of this room, there's two ways out. One is uh, a tunnel uh, on the eastern side of the southern wall, and one is a tunnel on the western side of that same southern wall. Which one sounds the loudest? With is one of them the way we came in? No. Uh, which so one sounds loudest? Equally as loud. The only difference between the two exits that you haven't gone through yet is one leads into what seems to be... Uh, murky water and the other one remains dry oh the dry way <laughs> it's my way or the dry way 
I just have this image in my head of Kes in the middle of this room doing the I'm ready to bless and I'm your freestyle dance teacher dance <laughs> to the chanting <laughs> with the daggers. So you guys are going in, into the dryway? The dryway. Yeah, the dryway. Okay. Going in the dryway. All right. Uh, you Brace yourselves. A tunnel with on each side a bunch of alcoves, which clearly at one point had prisoners shackled to the back walls of the alcoves. Uh, prisoners are long gone. Uh, you know, some of their bones still littering the floor, but the rusty shackles remain on the wall. Um, you guys, want to look around here? Uh, what do you want to? What do you want to do? I mean, I'm just trying to. This place is giving me the fucking heebie-jeebies. I'm creeped the fuck out. It's been a long, stressful day. Alasma has like had enough, but mm -hmm. like, <laughs> and he's like. It's but also the point where nothing can phase him anymore. So he's just like, let's just go. <laughs> like, fuck this. Hate it here. Hate this. Is there any way? Is the is the um, how many still glowing? Is the what? Mm. Like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, like you're getting very yeah, close to the Lazarin's, the Lazarin's big bright ball. How how many sets of like manacles and fucking bones like? Uh, let me have a look. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. As you kind of go around counting them, you see one still has a skeleton like hanging in the shackles, um, and a particularly interesting fact about this skeleton is that it is clad in a tattered black robe, um, which is weird. It doesn't really seem like, you know, everyday attire the skeleton's Any wearing. Any religious iconography on the robe? I, you, can, you can go have a closer look if you want. Make a religion check. Sure. Oh, it's almost a dirty 20. Instead, it's a 7. You find iconography, um, it's an icon that you've recently learned what it was. Oh, it's this that. Oh, what was the ra name of it? The oh. raven with like the castle in the background, yeah. which very much not religious, but you recognize yeah, it to be Strahd's uh, yeah. emblem. Uh, so you also, while like you're that. like close to the to the skeleton, uh, see that he's wearing a pretty shiny gold ring on his on one, of, one of its bony fingers. Like, as shiny as the rings that I found, you know, upstairs, or? Not as shiny, oh, but, you know, like, quick check, you know, you being be, being a jeweler's boy in that, or like, like 25 gold or some shit, like, value oh, to that ring? Exactly the same as the other ones. Oh, were they also 25 gold? Yep. Oh, there you go, yeah, exactly the same then. <laughs> More bling. Let me bling. just double check. <laughs> Let me just double check. I'm all spelling bling bullshit as I say that, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Yeah, 25 gold. Yeah, so it looks I mean, shiny and valuable. <laughs> I look it's at like it. an odd circumstance. I look it? at it and I just kind of leave. I have this moment I want to go up to it. And like, <laughs> I'm like, no. Okay. There's a difference between stealing from a jewelry box and stealing off the finger of a dead man, you know? <laughs> why Why do they have robes emblazoned with strads? Yeah. Okay. Iconography? Clearly, this Strahd is um, a megalomaniac of some description. No, 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 and... because Strahd didn't seem to really believe that much in what was happening in his house, right? Well, if no. if this person in the Strahd robe was willing, why is he shackled to the wall? Maybe even... I assume it's some weird sacrificial thing where they're sacrificing yeah. people to Strahd, like he's right. a god, but if and you... he's like, what the fuck are you doing, you maniac? But, but if you not... love Strahd, mm, yeah, I'm, he might I'm just saying, been... if you... He might, not been put... he might not have put those robes on himself, he might have been put in those robes. Yeah. Um, I don't I'm think it's worth thinking to believe about. That, like, he's one of Strahd's homies, and they killed him, Outside of Strahd's, uh, you know, approval. I'm gonna sign the following to Kess, and then, Bell, you tell me if you translate it verbatim or if you want to change anything. But to pass on to the group, in my theory, if 
from that letter we found because he made comments like it seemed like this group thought they had some role or responsibility in summoning Strahd and he was like bitch I am way more powerful than you I'm here of my own free will so maybe they were worshippers or started out that way but thought he was not as powerful as he was and then they didn't realize the strength of the thing that they had crossed so I don't think they were fo- they started out maybe followers but in the end I think it ended badly Igan agrees with me and then I will repeat everything else verbatim okay <clears throat> Either way, I think it's strange that someone here who's clearly into Strahd is shackled to the wall. Maybe they put him in the robes. Maybe they just killed the wrong person. I don't know. Anyway. Maybe it was revenge. Out of here. Which one of you has, like, a ridiculous passive perception again? Uh, Wazwin. I think two of us have 16. I have... Yeah, mine's 15, okay. which is pretty okay. I have 16. You, I have... um, see that... My passive perception is 18. In the... Whoa! Like 18? Fucking hell. 18. It's everyone. 18? It's everyone but right. like. Guess in that case, you walk like you know you're you're all kind of on the way back to go back to that reliquary where you came from, and then you kind of stop That's in the middle the of the hallway. You look to your right and you can see something like gleaming at you, uh, and as you kind of go to check it out, um, there is a door hidden behind like uh, a piece of like torn tapestry on the wall. Uh. Oh. Brooks, Dagen, there's a thing. It's at what? this moment, what, what's we're now in pitch blackness. <laughs> a what's door? A thing? I can, I'm fine, I can see. I I'm, can't. I'm going to pull oh. down the tapestry. What is the tapestry of anything in particular, or is it just... Is it nudie? Cling on, just cling on to that? freaking Sorry? Elazar. No, it's just like a, a piece of like, uh, it's it's nothing really depicted in particular, just a ser- series it's of like pattern. patterns and... Colors. I'm going to take it down. And is the door locked or trapped? Uh, no. I'm going to open it. Okay. I'm going to be right I there. Give... I assume da- uh, Dagon is as well. I give yeah. everyone eyes of night. Yeah, oh. this would be the point where your orb just kind of like... Yes, the orb, orb just yeah. fizzles out. Like, yeah. Immediately how, as soon how as many it gets can dark. You do? How many people can you do? Uh, I can do five. Would you like to know? <laughs> Before you get tired, five. Okay. Uh, and then I will kick the orb back up to just be a, a light spell instead of dying. Is that is that? Fuck it. You give us all you give us all dark vision and just bla- flash bang us with the fucking <laughs> orb. No, because okay, light. It, no, because this now makes dim light. Is right. it five plus a Lazarin? It yeah, still makes thirty foot I, of bright light. No, no, no. Because no, thirty light. foot of dim light means we can also see then again. Yeah. Uh, another yeah, 30 foot further. of dim light, well, I mean, which is physically darkness, but because of eyes of night. I mean, I mean, I mean, you. Eyes of night is like 100 foot, but. It's 300. Right. There you go then. But I'm so just saying have, the light spell is people. what? I can do five people, because I have naturally. 300 feet. Persuade some people. And five people. So okay. five one, people. two, three. Everyone apart from Onu, then, I guess. Yeah. One. Onu's not here. Oh. Well, true. Onu was still so, like. Well, it's up to you. Onu's in the garden. You have to be willing. Also, so Onu has dark vision. I would say, I mean, who wants to? I'll just. I'll fuck it, I'll oh, just fucking tolerated. Oh, fuck me. I mean, in that brief pause of just absolute darkness, <laughs> Kes immediately, like, reaches behind her for, like, I guess, Brooks, who's behind her. And yeah, I grabbed the last As soon as she can see again, she's like, oh, sorry. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of so, like like grabbing his hand or like grabbing his shirt, <laughs> like his forearm. <laughs> okay, is it just that holding his forearm and the lights one? She's so like... as you open this door and like sort out your your like dark vision and whatever, um, the chanting stops as you peer into this forty foot square room. The smooth masonry walls provide excellent acoustics. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling, and a breach in the west wall leads to a dark cave heaped with refuse. Murky water covers most of the floor. Stairs lead up to dry stone ledges that hug the walls. Uh, all, one of these ledges is where you're on, uh, coming from the way you went in. Uh, in the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagonal uh, like platform that rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above a stone altar mounted on, the, on, this, on this platform. Uh, the altar is uh, carved with a bunch of hideous depictions of, of grasping ghouls and is stained with dry blood. Hmm. 
Is the water surrounding it still water, or is it flowing or moving in any way? Uh, still. Okay. Uh, what shape is the room? The room is a square, but the right. like platform Octagonal is platform. like uh, an octagon, yeah. And there's ledges around... Yeah, you're on one of the ledges. The, the ledges, around. you're about five feet high. Um, so you're about you're about three feet over the water surface. The water is like a two feet deep, uh, like. Layer. And it's like stairs come up to the platform, right? Yeah. I hate that. So it's empty. It's empty in here. Are there any light sources? No. Empty and dark. Yes. Uh. And there are shackles on the altar. Uh, shackles on the ceiling, dangling above the altar. Ceiling. There's nothing in the shackles, right? At the height that someone might be stood and like stretched out with their hands in shackles, or yeah, that seems like, like something on that the would altar. Work. Like, yeah, yeah. Is there blood? A lot of dried blood on the on the altar. Yeah, a lot of dried blood on the altar. Yikes. Mm. How far is it from the platform we stood on and the octagonal platform? Could we jump that gap? Um, it's like ten feet. Morning jump, maybe if you're lucky. Uh, so I, you, I could like, do, 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 and then like grab. Well, it's not like onto the platform. Like it's only a five. Foot I don't want to get wet. Is what I'm saying. It's not. It's only a five foot drop. But like, it, it's like ten feet of, of of water until actually. Well, seven and I'm a half, not because half, halfway through like the second square is when the staircase starts leading out of the water on top of this like uh, this octagon. Oh god! So, yeah, I'm gonna try it, it, jump. It's easily jumpable to the stairs like, without Davian, turning an right? ankle. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, how does fucking jump distance get fucking calculated again? Let me quickly have a look. Hold on. Okay. Uh, high jump and long jump are calculated differently too. Yeah, we're looking at long jump because it's the same verticality. Uh, what's your what's your strength score? Uh, Duke? Strength? Yeah. Uh, 12. 12. So he can move 12 <laughs> feet if he takes a 10 foot run up. If he doesn't take a run up, he can jump 6 foot. Yeah, if you, yeah, but if you take a, a run up of 10 feet, which you could do, realistically you could do, you can jump okay, 12 right. feet horizontally. So it's fucking... Alright, yeah. Stand so in you, it. Yeah, you can jump make it over the gap. How far did you say the gap was? Sorry? About like 7, seven, and, seven and, a half and a half feet or something because of where the stairs start. Yeah. Ah, oh, perfect. I can jump eight feet. There you go. That Yay. works. Perfect. I what, with a run up, you of... can jump eight feet. This was eight. <laughs> <laughs> Not strong boy. Just gets on Daigon's back, I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, Piggy back. Piggy what back. the hell is Daigon's strength? Well, um, <laughs> Not that great. That, if my strength can't get me over, What's I What's your can... strength? Strength is just ten, but uh, you can do I a ten foot, uh, ten foot long jump then. Not with Cass on her. Not with a little with windy Cass. lady on her back. Uh, How? One the rules of feline agility, because it's just double speed. Oh, it says when you move in combat. I guess we're not. In I'll combat. say so that with Cass on your back, you. I'll I'll let you try the jump, but you'll have to make. Because well, the other thing I can do. Is when I have the arms popped out, it says mm -hmm. I can do wisdom instead of strength checks for. It's not really things. a check. No, I would say I would I would not? I would say for the no, sake of this, if you want to try and make the jump with uh with Kess on your back, I can't wait to watch them both just fucking. I'll say make. The water. Well, we'll count Kess as an obstacle. So I'll say make an <laughs> make an athletics check. See if do you can you make that jump with Kess okay. on the back. Me to take Kess because it says. Because the exact wording is you can use your wisdom modifier in place of your strength modifier when making strength checks and strength saves. I, yeah, technically, you could, it would be you, a you waste would. to bust the arms out just because Kest is lazy. I'm just well, putting they it last out for there. ten minutes. They last for ten minutes. I could do. Other if you stuff want to bust them. the arms out, then yeah, but when you pop them out, they damage people. So it's like no, they don't. I can choose. Immediately damage people. Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying you're gonna hurt Kest. I'm saying oh. we don't get it, that it, effect if you bust damage. them out. Yeah. Okay, I'll just try it, I guess. Cause yeah, I guess. Just kick Kess off. Just throw her in the water. <laughs> I, it's just... 
No, that's fine, Laura. You could make this jump fine on your own. If you want to try jump on your back, make a make an acrobatics check. Or <laughs> right. athletics check. Sorry, athletics. Can athletics. I like athletics, stand yeah. right at the edge and make and like Hold on, wait for let, them? Let's wait. Let's just fucking. Okay, athletics and just a straight roll, no advantage or disadvantage. Just Correct. Athletics because of the extra. Okay. Correct. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, fine. You. It's. Thank God for that. You were. It it's works, not. It's not, it's not very pretty, far but jump, it. but you know, having the extra weight of Kess on your on your shoulders and back. Makes it so you have to kind of like adjust and really like kind of calculate how far the run will be. Bit of an awkward be. landing. And you jump and you land and you like kind of like fall to one knee as you kind of like kind of just guide Kess off your back onto the octagonal platform. But you made it. Okay. Uh, Jax needs to take the run up and he makes it. Okay. Brooks, Perfect. watching everyone do a run up, is just gonna standing jump it because he's a dickhead. Fair enough. I want to investigate the altar. Okay. As you're all, all right, you're all on right. top of the like octagonal platform now at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as Don't you investigate the altar, the chanting rises once more as 13 dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. Each one resembled it's a black robed heart. figure holding a torch, but the torch fire is black and seems to draw light into it. Where do you expect to see faces that are just voids? And they just yell and chant over and over, one must die, one must die, one must die. I point die. a cast. <laughs> are you guys all, uh, are you all here for the, the swingers night as well, or have we come to the wrong place? As soon as Davia points at me, I cast major armor on myself. <laughs> okay. Is Dav Davian's very clearly joking, right? <laughs> yes. I'm just checking, okay? Um, can you blame me? Oh, oh, oh can, you, can you... Oh my God, can you make a... Um, intelligence check, Davian? Oh, oh God. God. Since you're the 13. one that was like investigating the altar and now then, and then the chanting started and these 13 faceless the organization oh, Natural 20! Natural 20? <laughs> okay, to yeah, you it's very clear. Too. To you, it's very clear what needs to be done. Um, a sacrifice needs to be yes, made. Needs to die. And somebody yeah. needs to die on top of the altar. That is what these chanting spirits are. Uh, that, that's what they want, is for someone to die If I move away from the altar. the altar, do they disappear? Is it like in SpongeBob, but it's the, the chocolate bar in the bottom of the vending machine, and every time you touch it, the bus comes through? That's such a stupid <laughs> reference. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I get the reference. Is it like, today. is he right on the wall of the render load where if he steps back, they disappear again? Well, <laughs> in rock bottom. What do you, what do you, what do you, what are you trying to do? I'm going to move back from the altar and see if the apparitions disappear. No, they've been summoned and they're there and they just keep chanting, one must die. One must die. One I, I must signed die. the cast. You think Davian could die. get Onu down here? Because we could bring Onu back. No harm, no foul. I think he might be offended if I ask him that. Well, Damien, just would, would, would you be offended if I suggested we sacrifice Ono? I mean, I didn't Wouldn't know how I to didn't. get him here in the first place. There you go. I mean, listen, I, 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 barring all other possible options, I mean, if we are stumped, that could be an idea, but he's not here, so... I mean, do we do we want to sacrifice someone? What about no. Hawthorne? No. Ah, Hawthorne doesn't really die, does he? He just and he costs goes money. Away. Yeah, well, fucking ah, fuck me. Everyone's gonna I cost will, these, money. These apparitions, right? I mean, I'm just like, fuck it. <laughs> what do you believe? I mean, at this point, shall we just? Oh, I just fucking point at one sacred flame it. Like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I was, I was gonna say, you could try and dispel magic on the altar, maybe. Dispel you, whatever. You oh, I do have that! <laughs> <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. You guys. said it. So you're so trying to sacred this. flame one of the Dan's apparitions? Like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, nothing happens. Up. Your sacred flame, like, it lands, <laughs> just fizzles out and. The chant Monster. keeps going. The, the chant just keeps going. One must die. One must die. Well, you know how I said I had uh, spell magic? Oh, I do have a bed. I just can't read. Nice. It's cool, good. I, yeah, well, Lazarin can. Koiba can. Yeah, Koiba can't read. Well, um, wait. 
Wait, do don't we know we have, this? The don't you have detect magic? magic like... Don't you still have detect magic up? I do, because that was ten minutes. So can we know the source of the magic to then dispel? Yeah, I mean DM. No source in sight. It seems Are very much keywords. Magical? It Inside. seems very much that, much like all the other weird magical things you've seen and unexplainable things you've seen, is that these apparitions are connected to the house, and the house is the source of a lot of Ugh, the gross. fuckery and bullshittery Bullshit. that you've seen so far. I told you we should have just burned the house down. <laughs> no, we have to burn the whole underneath of the house. <laughs> like, it's huge. Do you have more barrels of gunpowder? Anyone have Light just powder? a spare child that we could just throw on there? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I put one into my no. bag earlier. <laughs> Seemed to work out for the previous uh, proprietors. So, great. They, can we just leave, go somewhere else, see if we'll find this monster? Like, yeah. That's a good I, question, can't we that. just leave? I mean, like, I mean, okay. not like fully. Is the way we came I mean, in blocked? I mean, but that ledge, there's now the also an apparition because they're like all around the room. Not leave the fucking house, though. I mean, not the whole house, just leave this room. <laughs> just this room. But, I'm going to take a yeah. fucking running, diving jump through the door that we came in uh, at well, the apparitions. As soon as you leave the, the octagon, the chant changes. Oh. Oh. It seems that you've rejected. And they all start going, Dab in. It, you rejected <laughs> the call for a sacrifice, so the chant now changes to Lorgoth the Decayer, we awaken thee. And from the south oh of this room, from the oh water God. comes this shambling mound of just bodies oh, and you. ground and dirt Ew. and worms and insects. Just <laughs> I would like you all to roll initiative. As we started, as you started that description, Dutch, my Spotify changed to very sinister organ music, <laughs> and I'm all for it. Nice. Isn't I do, wait? I, I asked sinister? earlier, but I do still have the 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 the, the vigilant blessing. Yeah, you do. Yes. I mean, not more initiative, so until now, so yeah. Can't and he's not clean. recast it. Oh, yeah, into some fucking fucking shitty rolls. Uh, this is such unfortunate timing as well because, like, in 20 minutes, normally Soka would join, but now we're already starting to fight. But let's it's, it's still be, you know. Well, I was actually it? just gonna say if we could take the break early, but I don't know when Soka. I don't know Soka is here. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, it kind so of why don't beats the we? Purpose. I mean, we can always take him if combat runs. We can always take a mid combat break, but we can just blitz through it. Could mm. you could? Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, I'm just dying for a piss. Go piss then. It's not your okay. turn. Well, well right, but I'm just. Now. What's your initiative? It will be my turn. Twenty-five. Okay. Go piss now, or take your turn and then piss. Oh. No, I'll take my turn and then go piss. Hold on. Let's quickly. Yeah. And then when you take, when well, you get one shot. You know, if Soko's available, but he's not. Uh, romantically or physically? Okay, so it's initiative it's twenty it's plus, please. I got twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-three. Four. Dagon. 15 to 20? Or goth. 18. 18, was that? Who said that? For Lazarin. 18 Lazarin. for Lazarin. I heard, I heard, of, I heard of voices didn't like look who, who it was. I was like, ah. 18 for oh. Lazarin. Anyone else? 15 for Brooks. 15 for Brooks. I have rolled for Jack. 15 for Thorn. 15 for Thorn. It's going to make him go after Brooks. Oh, Thorn. Oh, Thorn. Uh, 10 to 15, anyone? Cast 12. Cast. Uh, all that remains is Jax, right? Pretty sure. Eight. Eight for Jax. Natural Legend. 10. Alrighty. So with that, there's a shout. Like, uh, Davian, you'll have jumped to, like, the ledge. You made that jump. And there's just, like, this app, this, like, apparition to both your left and your right. But they are just still chanting. They're just still chanting. And for, they're not for this corporeal moment. at all. They're not, they're not corporeal at all. They're me. just there. Uh, but the Shambling Mountain just like just crawling towards your allies uh, on the pedestal. Um, yeah, you get to go first. Oh, fuck it, dude. I have a couple Eldritch Blasts. Go on, son. Bitch. A, uh, a 15 and a dirty 20. The 15 just hits. Oh. Uh, in that case... 
is the fucking tens, yes. On the first one that hit. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait. We didn't long rest, did we? We got no. woken up. No, because we were interrupted. I'm trying to remember what when the last. We haven't had combat since the long rest, though, right? No, because I no. only have one yeah. key point. Did you fall no, I just out. cast. You fought like Hunter a broom. I, I used, a, a, I used a rage for some strength mm. stuff, but we haven't. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, I will cast an Eldritch Blast, and I will use Imbue Elemental Power okay. for an additional D8 damage. I'm writing. Oh this God. is a, a pretty, like, technical fight for me, so I need damage types to be separated out just for the sake of it. Yeah, so that is 15 points of force damage and 1 point of fire damage. Okay. Good to know. Anything else you wish to do with your turn? Uh, I, I will... Is there any point? Hold on. The more you think, the longer till you can piss. True. Nah, nothing else. That's it. That's All right, go piss. piss. Um, Daigon. How far is it from us, the thing that appeared? Um, the shambling? What's it, it is currently like 10 feet away, like in the water, 10 okay. feet away from the southern edge of this like okay. octagon that, that you're on. I'm going to run and try and jump on its back and pop out the arms as I do. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, it is large, so it's definitely big enough for you to jump onto. on. So you're going to pop the arms while you're on its back? Yes. So it needs to make a dexterity save. Uh, 13? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that just saves, but I need to find it on my sheet. Uh, yeah, so he just makes the save. Okay. Oh. Um, it's any creature I can see within 10 feet, if they would need to, but can I choose for the 13 apparitions to make the save as well? Uh, I mean, yeah, it doesn't do much. Yeah, because... I would like all of them to try and make the save. You uh, never know. Well, they, they, they don't range? have to because, like, anything you try and hit the apparitions with, it seems they're, they're not corporeal. Okay. They're just like a okay. pretty much a part of the like they're just deco deco decor of the room. Okay. you know what I mean. Like, well, I was just checking. But now you know for sure, for so sure that they can't. I'm be on its back. Yes, you are. Or my bonus action, and I'm going to attack it. Okay. Uh, so, oh, hell yeah. One's a natural 20. Nice. And one is a, uh, 24. Yeah, both hit. Absolutely. Uh, just make sure the space, like, give me the dam yeah. any damage types separate from each other, please. Yeah, yeah. So the natural 20 will do first. Yeah. Um, so that's 12 points of force damage. Because I'm using the arms, the mm -hmm. ghosty arms. And then on the other one, that is 10 points of force damage. Okay. Um, and let me check the wording on this. Because I don't think it's a bonus action. I think I just, when I hit, I can choose to. So on the first one, on the natural 20, mm -hmm. I will spend a key point to try and do stunning strike on it as I slash at the, furiously slash at its flesh from its back. Okay. It makes constitution save from the creature. One save. Uh, what I'm sure it is a pretty high condition. What would condition be if he fails it? Stunned. Stunned? Stunned. Yeah, okay, just making, just making sure. Um, let's say con save. You said. Oh, I think you said con save, right? Uh, for the fucking stunning spectral strike. arms. Stunning strike. Oh, stunning strike. Yeah, stunning strike's a con save. Wait until Laura is done having uh, a brain freeze. I'll pull up her DC if you want to make the roll now. Yeah, that's twelve. That's what I what I rolled. Uh, Laura's um. DC for stunning strike is 13, so it fails. Okay. Let's wait for Laura to unfreeze. It's a very flattering. It picture. really is, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Hello, you're Hello? back. Hi. It rolled a 12. So, so it, it just fails. It's oh, fun. no, it doesn't. Legendary resistance. 
Oh, I literally made a TikTok about that. I saw the TikTok. Days you ago. jinxed it. Yep. You jinxed it. <laughs> this is all your fault. Hey, you told me something that pissed me off. Okay. The next fight's like, gonna have legendary first resistances. One. First one. Uh oh. I feel like my guess is in here how that feels like I could feel it start to work and then he shrugged it off. But I'm encouraged by the fact that I think it started to work. So I'm gonna also spend a key point on my second attack because they both hit to try and do it again. Okay. Oh, here comes the key burn. Well, That's a natural yeah, 20 on the like, save. Ah, okay. That's my turn. At least I hit it. Yeah. It basically, did. my physical arms are holding on to its back for dear life, claws in while the oh, spectral God. arms are just lashing away, trying to like rip off chunks of its dead flesh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, so as it's now Lorgoth the Decayer's turn, the chanting. Oh, oh no. Uh, the chanting changes again at the start no. of its first turn. The chant now goes, The end comes, death be praised. Oh. Uh, Alright, so, Lorgoth the Decayer is gonna Decayers. crawl its way to the, like, octagon, which has everyone on it besides Daigon, because she's on his back, <laughs> and Davion jumped right? back to the ledge, and it's like shoulder to shoulder with two of the apparitions. Um, which means that there's still four people to choose from on said octagon. So, what does the DM do in this situation? You're all D4 to see who he wants to fucking attack. Ah, uh, that's pussy tactics. Just pick who you hate. Um... You did it. So, yeah, rolled a two, so that would mean... I'm just gonna go by order of Discord cams, which is Alazrin. Good. <laughs> I knew it. It's gonna crawl up to you, and mm -hmm. just like the mound kind of just like sh shifts its body to go more up, and mm -hmm. these two like long. Ooh, how do I describe this? How do I describe this? Um, hold on, real quick. Pendrels. These two like plants, but also body like arms, kind of just like grow out from its body, and just with one. Slams down. The other one also slams down, trying to just completely crush you. Yep. Um. With first advantage, because of my cloak. Oh, nice. You remember disadvantage on the first attack. Uh, would still be a fourteen to hit. Misses. Okay. So that's still disadvantage. Still disadvantage. Good. Oh, he remembered is, the cloak. Second one is a seventeen to hit with his advantage. Um, yeah, it might, that might just hit me. I'm sorry, man. Um, so yeah, one, you managed to, like, your cloak kind of, like, positions you in such a way that this, the first slam just <laughs> right past you. The second one, however, just... <laughs> uh, right on top of you. Uh, mm -mm. I was debating um, whether I wanted to do something about that, but we don't know how hard it hits yet. You take a total of uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I hit I hit harder than it so far, so we're fine. And that Don't is, say that. That is its turn. But Alasrin, it is now your turn, so. So I'm on 5 HP. <laughs> Why? What? Because, <laughs> because remember the ghost? The little ghost man who was like... Why didn't you oh, fucking heal from me, you dumb bitch? Or why didn't you tell fight. us you were bloody? Oh yeah, isn't your max time. HP also like 11 lower than what it should be or some shit? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so you know, so you know when you were bloodied and you could have. No, no. My max HP is sixteen. Yeah, no, he's not bloodied because my max HP went down. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so now he's bloodied. <laughs> yeah. No. So now I'm bloodied. Yeah, right. no, I looked fine, just a bit frail. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm saying <laughs> I fucking forgot about that, dude. Shit. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> That's why I was like, it's gonna hit me. I'm like, it's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit me. Oh, yeah. can't. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right, that is its turn, Sorry. though, and it is now your turn, Elazarin. Oh, you see, I get one of those. Get the mm -hmm. fuck out. Why? I put up the bubble. Okay. The dome bubble. comes out. The bubble. Dome. I will then, as an action, a bonus action, even, I should say, I mm -hmm. will cast Spiritual Weapon. That's okay. Second level. Where do you want these uh, gold nunchucks to appear? Oh, just, like, next to me. Just okay. I'm making it look like I'm the one wielding them. <laughs> have them like float, like we just out. Just, you know, you'll have like your hands, like, or like fists, but they like, like float. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the fist without actually touching you so they can still do their own thing. Yeah. Just making it look like exactly. you're the one that uses them. Yeah, yeah. The 16 to hit? That hits, yeah. 
I kind of hate this. He's got what? a large health pool. In theory. <laughs> oh, max damage though. So that oh. is uh, what the fuck is mass? Why is this half me? Thirteen. Thirteen. That's uh, force, force damage, force right? Force damage. Yes. Yeah. Force. A lot of force damage users in this party. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> and I can't move because it will hurt me. So. I'm just gonna kind of vibe where I am and hope it doesn't want to attack me again. Okay. And I get... Great. Six okay. temp HP, the minimum amount I can get. Fantastic. Just, just great. Um, is that your turn? Yep. Yeah. The creature, Lorgoth, is going to take a legendary action. Daigon, you're still on his back. Pussy. Um, from its back around you, these like plant-like muddy tendrils mm. rise to, uh. and they attempt to grab you. Uh, so I need you to make a hey. um, athletics or acrobatics check, to, you know, whichever you prefer, to see if you can escape the crowd. Okie dokie. Um, 21 acrobatics. 21? Sixteen plus four is twenty. Ooh, hey. close. Close. Oh, I right, make it so... so it's like I release the claws and I and I do like a jump to a different part of its back and then stick back in. And I'm just okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. So you managed to dodge that. Uh, so that was his legendary action. Uh, Brooks, <clears throat> you're next. Okay. Well, immediately, fuck this guy. Mm -hmm. Um. Bonus action rage. Go on. I'm going in for the grapple. Yeah, you can grapple large creatures, right? Yes, one size, but uh, anything that's below huge, I can grapple. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, advantage because I'm raging. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a condition, so it can't legendary resistance. It, it of course, gets to make athletics or acrobatics. Mm -hmm. I have set a 26. I have set a natural 20, so... <laughs> Sorry, man. That's I'm pretty sure that was like the uh, only thing that I could roll to not be fucked there. Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Jax is gonna cast silvery barbs. You cunt. Oh, fuck off. Uh, roll roll it again. Does it seem like in character for Jax? I don't know. I you know what? Yeah. I'm in charge of Jax. This is the <laughs> one spell slot I'm doing because it's important. You've set a twenty-six. Yep. I need to do math now. Hold on, 18 plus four is 22. Okay, this all depends on its fucking proficiency bonus real quick, hold on. What was it proficient in? It, does it say proficiencies, athletics or acrobatics? It does, yeah. Then just brackets plus four? Uh, it doesn't have like the number, so I'm just gonna go off of what a level five player character would have, which would be plus three, which would make it 25, so he just fails. Because you said a 26, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, you, uh, cr you, you manage to grapple him. This, the, the silvery barb makes it so that he does get grappled. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna give that advantage to a Lazarin. Okay. Um, I don't have a bonus action, but mm -hmm. I'm currently grappling the creature. You are. Um. It's so this creature, as you zero. grapple it, you, like, kind of, it's weird, because it's just this mishmash of plant-like tendrils and pieces of tree, but also just you can see a bunch of, like, dead bodies of a variety of different races is all intertwined, and there's, like, a foot sticking out in one end, a decaying hand sticking out the other. It's disgusting. It's grim, and my face is squished against it. And there's, yeah, there's, like, all these, like, fucking worms kind of crawling out of, like, muddy bits of the... Yeah, it's it's yeah. gross. It's fucking gross. I'm just gonna... Okay, who you fucking... are, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, around the waist. Its movement is zero. I can move it, but it's going to take... It counts... It, my movement speed is halved because I'm grappling it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to... And fucking rugby push it with Diagon on its back 20 feet away from a Lazarin. Okay. Sure. And that is my turn. Okay. You get 10 temporary hit points. I'm going to need it, because I am now the thing keeping it away from you. <laughs> yeah, it it's going to take a legendary me. action. 
Yeah. To try and engulf you, since you're so like attached to it, it's just gonna like the fucking roots and vines are gonna sprout out of its body to try and like wrap around you and just push you into its being. Um. Oh no, okay, that can't be that bad. Right? I need you to uh, uh, like yeah. let's consider consider this for the sake of rolling. Just consider this like a grapple save thing. So athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Oof. Uh. So six, so a total of 16. 30, 20. So you basically kind of get no yud and it gets pushed into the body of, of the, or like the, the you, can you call it a body? Sure. The, the, this being, I need to make a constitution saving throw. I like to imagine that as he's trying to, as he's pushing this thing in, he doesn't realize that he's actually Balls. just walking inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, while I'm making this throw, yeah. Uh, the condition ends if it breaks the grapple or if I'm incapacitated. So, so am I still technically grappling it while it's grappling me? Well, you are that is the thing that can currently happen. blind, restrained, and unable to breathe. Uh, I got a natural 19 on the con save. Okay. Not incapacitated. Uh, so you're not incapacitated, you are restrained, however. And restrained blind. doesn't stop you from grappling. True. So you are blind, restrained, unable to breathe, but somehow you still have... A grapple over him. <laughs> I'm halfway in it, but I've got like a grip on its inside. Um, okay, you avoid We're damage. Going nowhere. You avoid damage because you made the save, but you are still very much stuck inside it, and you can't see, you can't breathe. Um, oh, fucking hot! I'm wearing it like a headpiece, baby. <clears throat> and wherever this creature decides to go and move, uh, you move with it. It can't. It has zero speed. <sighs> can I DM because rule this, this, is this is to be? This is stupid. And just say, even can I, like, I mean, I you mean, can DM rule anything he's still at any time. Uh, he's power. still technically grappled. He hasn't broken the grapple on Brooke. Technic I mean, by yeah. engulfing me, he's technically grappled me. And you can have two characters grapple each other. You can, you can so DM rude. rule whatever you, you okay, can DM fuck rule it, whatever fuck you it, want. Fuck it, whatever, whatever. Fuck it, man. It's stupid. It's what I would do is I would make both of us roll on my or his next turn to see who wins. But, yeah. but here's the thing. It's so stupid. It's great. and like Some of the rules as written are just... Yeah, no, right, I just it. disagree with. <laughs> it, it's because most, most in like most swallowings require you to be grappled first. But like, yeah. if I'm pressed against it, it's hard to not to. Right, that's why I was know. like, you know, yeah, exactly. Ah, whatever. That's why it gets funky. <clears throat> it's fine. Uh, it's now Hawthorne's turn. He's gonna shoot it. Yo, go on. <laughs> Wait, how big, big? How big is this thing, Dutch? Uh, Huge. large. Large, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Natural one. Natural because... one. Oh, you can only grab something one size larger, but large is yeah. one size larger than medium, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, which I champed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you Hawthorne fires an arrow, and instead of the mount, it just hits like one of the like bodies Brooks sticking out, ass. one of the again. bodies, like the body again. sticking out of the mount, and doesn't really do anything. Really. Cool. <clears throat> Shit. All right, that's his turn. Uh, <laughs> Kess, you're up. The fucking bow you gave me is pretty naff. I'm gonna use my bonus action to put hex on it. Okay. Uh, because I already have that cast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm gonna Eldritch Blast it a couple times. Yeah, one. Roll an attack for both. I don't know why I have this image of Kess like Eldritch Blasting like Spider Man does his webs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natural one. I hate digital dice. They can. Digital dice really hate you. <laughs> they hate me. That's your second that one. On the second one. Digital dice just highlight Belle's cheating strategy True. from the emote back in the day. Because yeah. <laughs> she can't apply it to digital dice. Um, so natural one on the first one, so that one just slams into the fucking ceiling. <laughs> Some of the like ceiling like crumbles down and, and falls into the floor. Uh, the second one does hit, though. Uh, nine da force damage. Nine force damage. Plus three thunder. Thunder? And, yep. Yeah. Okay. If this creature was vulnerable to force damage, we'd all be killing it right now. Mm -hmm. It'd be so great. Is there anything vulnerable uh, to force damage? I don't think so, right? Uh, there are a few things very that are like, like um, immune to fucking physical, but vulnerable to force, yeah. because fuck you. Um, three necrotic. Three necrotic. Alrighty. Is that your turn? That's it. Alright. Um, Jax. Uh, fuck. I don't want to use a bunch of Soko spell slots. Use um. What's the what's the no. status on Soko, by the way? 
He said, he, was, uh, he said he was. He said he was twelve minutes out, and I said game. I'd let him know when we go into break. Okay. He says that if we continue the combat, it gives him time to get his setup set back up. Okay. So he's just said he's got back. All right, all right, cool. But he doesn't mind us playing the combat without him. Okay, okay. Uh, Jax is going to. Uh. He's gonna bonus. Is he gonna get into? Nah, this thing's fucking ugly. Jax nice. is like, nah. There's two people in melee. Fuck that. Ray of Frost. Okay. Just an attack roll, right? <clears throat> Natural twenty. Ooh, okay. My God. <laughs> 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 fucking forgot you had those. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so that's a fucking twenty-eight to hit. Uh, two d eight. I missed it earlier for for Koiba's natural twenty. Yeah, kind of cringe. I didn't get one for like the two natural twenties that I've rolled as your. And I got a natural twenty. You I rolled the natural twenty. Ethan, right? So I missed Koiba's. I missed Davian's. I missed Daigon's. Fuck the DM because he's <laughs> against us. True. Yeah, the enemy. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> one more. No, that one I broke the string off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the worst when the string pulls straight out and then it doesn't pop or whatever. And I'm like, is that going to blow up in my sleep? Yay! Hey! All right. It smells like gunpowder. Roll some fucking um, damage, baby. Uh, yeah, fucking gonna uh, wake five, up later to ten, exploding. 18 points of cold damage. Cold damage? You, f Jax fires his, uh, his um, ray of frost and it seems that this creature does initially like respond to being hit by the cold it just doesn't seem to be as effective as Jax would have it's hoped it's resistant okay good to know fuck yes. you it's not my fault man blame was Jax dogs. fucking throws his electrum butt plug at it and we oh. move on roll for him for his weapon you would attack. never throw that away <laughs> <laughs> is that Natural Jax's one. Uh, turn yeah that's Jax's turn okay oh his butt uh, plug drops to the floor <laughs> Uh, back to the top of the it's initiative, Davian. Nine. That's me. That is uh. you. Nine temp HP. Nice. I'm just I'm gonna, I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast it again. Guess this whole turn. Go Stop on. stealing my moves. Uh, mine are cooler though. No, they're not. <laughs> it. Well, okay. No, you might be right. I think. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Molding? A 15, which just hits, and a 12. So. So the first one hits, the second one does not. Yeah. Oh, I'm cringing. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but the. But, 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 this time I'm right. going to use Favored Foe. Go on. For an extra D4. Four. So that is seven points Way. of force damage, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's my turn. Beautiful. Oh, that's your turn. Well, you get. Am I in the dome? Is it a big it's dome? Feet. It's thirty feet, dude. Yeah, you're in the dome then. Like it's sixty yeah, okay. feet across. Like it's thirty feet like radius. Yep. Fucking big yeah, dome. The room, the room is a, like Did it's like forty feet safety? left to right, so it's definitely probably fucking not because I didn't even think you had a fucking turn and here your turn happened. So I'm mean, like <laughs> blanked when your turn happened. Uh, All right. So Davian gets t uh, eleven, Kess nice. gets uh, seven, okay. and uh, Jack's got nine. Beautiful. Does Ready. Thorn get it? I get it. Thorn got it. Thorn's not an ally, and Lazarin hates him. True. Yeah. True. No. Uh, Thorn gets eight. There you go. Um, so you rolled better than minimum for everyone but yourself. Yeah. Is that the one person who needs it? Is that your turn, uh, Duke? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Dagon, you're still on its back. It's tried to fucking yeah grapple you and suck you in, but you managed to duck out of the way of that. What do you do? I mean, it's gonna be a pretty repetitive, but just attack my regular two attacks and then a single extra attack as a bonus action because i only have one key point left and i'm gonna save that for Hell an emergency yeah. <laughs> so um oh another natural 20 Go on. and then 22 Ethan. for the other one Ethan. First attack. <laughs> sorry i was reading <laughs> the rules
Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that was good. You must have so damage much on shit. This. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all over my desk. It looks like a clown jizzed over my setup. <laughs> <laughs> damage on the on the crit, so Sorry? that's only six points. I rolled six. minimal damage on the crit, so only six points of force damage on the crit. And now watch it. Oh. significantly more. Uh, eight force damage on the other one, okay. and then my singular bonus action slash. Uh, not great. Thirteen does not hit. Fortunately, okie dokie. That's my turn. <laughs> Okie dokie. It now has a turn, and I'm gonna take your advice, Ethan, and just say, before we fucking get into anything, let's just do a contested... Off. Contested... Uh, okay. Let's make it a strength. Contested grapple rolls just, and decide who... And then just rule it from there that one person wins. That's just both... Because uh, you're gonna use athletics, right? And that's this guy's best stat as well. So let's just both roll an yeah. athletics check and just see who fucking... What's okay. highest. I get advantage because I'm raging. Is that for Dagon? I'm Dagon, yeah. but 10, 10 temp. Ten, ten, ten. It's a spicy mama meatball, baby! Mm -hmm. Natural 20. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, oh that's hanging off the fucking it. cable. Alright. Um, Even for a second, I thought you were about to push me like. So, you're still inside it. But it does not. Ha you still have it grappled, so we'll just rule it as if it is grappled and you are restrained, blinded, and unable to breathe. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Maybe he's doing something to its insides, uh, or if it moves, <clears throat> it feels pain. It's like. Uh, and it I doesn't need you want to make move. another Constitution saving throw at the beginning of its turn, which is now. So, Brooks, con save, uh, please. I don't have advantage on those. That's also a natural twenty. What Jesus the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ! I I so that one. I will admit, I missed my tray. It bounced off my cannon monster and is now sat next to my mouse on 20. That's fine. <laughs> we'll take it. I will roll in the tray if you want me we to. We take trick shots. It's fine. Um, okay. That is just for, you know, the damage of being crushed inside it. But you managed to avoid that. Now, um, oh, since that's hanging off the camera. you're inside it, Diagon is on top of it. So it's just going to go two of the, is like tendrils just sprouts alongside Daigon and are just gonna both try and slam the fuck out of her. So the first attack on Daigon oh, is you. a 16 to hit, Daigon? That hits. Yeah, that hits. Second one oh, is a 21 to hit. Yep. On me? No, both on Daigon. Both on Daigon? Yes. Bitch. It's, it's a, letting oh. its stomach acid do the job of you. So. Yeah, exactly. It's trying. That's a plants technically so there's no stomach acid it's just being he's it's, it's he's, he's you're just being here in D, D, they put a plant here um first one is a is 13 points of damage uh Dagen. there goes my temp hp <laughs> second one is 11 points of bludgeoning damage oh okay cool uh and that is its turn elasrin oh, sorry excuse me bless you choking on pizza young kimosabe what did you just fucking say to me? Huh? Um, I will... My... my what would you call it? Watch and flip. Spiritual weapon will attack. My nun chucks. Yep. Oh. Uh, that is a dirty 20 to hit. Yup. Yep. It's also force damage, right? Dude, what the fuck is with the yep. force damage in and this body? And they do... It does 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. And right. as an action, I will aura vitality. Go on. Just up now. Can't explain on that. What does it do? What I can do. I can, as a bonus action, give everyone heals every turn. Let's go. Does I that include everyone, yourself? I give, I give one person heals every turn as a bonus action. Yes, it does. As long as you're in 30 feet of me. Nice. Is that your turn? Yup. All right, Brooks. I need you again um, to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, that's better. Okay. Uh, wait, on my turn and its turn? That's disgusting. Yes. Well, I that's... I buffed this fight a little bit, all right? I took the liberty to make some adjustments. Because it felt like a pretty fucking pushover uh, easy fight. Dirty 20. Normally. Dirty 20? Again, no no damage taken. You managed to... You're pretty cool. good at, like, just kind of taking the crushing of being inside it. It's just the lack of oxygen that is kind of the only real Sucky. threat here. I've got some rounds before that becomes a problem. Yeah, you got, like, what? One plus whatever your comm modifier is? It equals to minutes, minutes that you can... 
so five minutes. Yeah, so, so like you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> you're chilling, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. From a rules standpoint, because as far as I'm aware, there's no official ruling on it. Mm. Is there a way? Because is there a way that I can escape the engulf? Because you... some people say you can't. Some people say that you have to break the initial grapple, but we sort of it didn't have to because I was in its booty hole anyway. Yeah, so we'll say that you can certainly try. Uh, I'll say there's similar mechanics in other monsters that do similar shit. So we'll say that we'll take it as that, where it's just like you have to deal a certain amount of damage to it for it to just kind of reject you. We'll go with that. Okay. One, that's a mechanic that is. Obviously, used. I don't know that in character. No. But yeah, would but... Brooks at least know that there's no point trying to get out of it? Like, that he can't physically pull himself out. Make an intelligence check. I don't win these. So it's just a straight roll. 15. Yeah. Okay. Bro no, that's well, fine. Brooks kind of reckons just like, oh, I don't know, time to fucking pelt my way out of this piece of plant, I guess. You know what I mean? That's probably yeah. the logic in his head. Like, oh, I can cut through um... branches, right? I'm, I mean, I'm in it, and I can't see shit, and I can't really breathe, but I'm physically undamaged. Yes. And I'm going to say, I saw it fucking destroy Elazrin. Yes. So right now, without knowing what else is going on, Brooks's priority is keeping it away from Elazrin. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my action mm -hmm. to make a shove attempt. Okay. Which is athletics. It's the same as a grapple, essentially. Athletics versus athletics. Or and acrobatics, but it's not acrobatics. In, whilst he's inside it, trying to walk. In. Yeah, that basically is what's happening right now. It's like, you're just kind of inside of it, and just kind of, you're trying to just, basically just like pulling it with you as you're trying I'm to I'm trying around. to shove it, um, knock it down prone. So I guess I'm trying to like, throw my body weight to the ground with it around me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, you're trying to knock it down prone? Oh, that's what yeah. shove does, isn't it? I mean, shove you can choose whether they're yeah. prone or whether they're. Uh, I got a 19 on my. Uh, oh, nope, I lied. Uh, 22 on my. Uh, my first one was a three, energy. but I have advantage because I'm raging. Mm -hmm. So that's a natural 16, so 26. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, you managed to push it 20 feet away from uh, where you last saw the Lazarin, I guess. Cool. So, actually, I don't know anything would, else. 20 feet would probably make it so that you hit, like, the back wall of the room at this point. Okay. Because the room isn't that big. I mean, I don't know that because I'm blind now. But... Yeah, so, you're just pushing it and eventually you just hear, like, a doof as you kind of, like, smash it against the, against the so wall. So, I pushed, I pushed it last time. This time I've put it prone. So, it's now prone and grappled. <laughs> All while Diagon is still, like, on top of it. So, like, Diagon feels yeah. this thing. Diagon like, has to, like, climb up the back like, oh, so it now shit. gets crushed. Because <laughs> I can't see that Diagon's still there. No, you can't see shit. Um, You're blind as But well. it now can't get up without escaping the grapple. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> would you determine that I am also prone? Because yes. that I I would say that's a reasonable determination. Yeah, you are. To make. You're both you're both prone because you're inside of it. So, so you're both like nuts in your ass. Um, because I am also prone, I would have disadvantage on attack rolls. But it is also prone, so uh, it's uh, just you, a straight well, roll. You're, you're technically restrained, so you would have had disadvantage on attack rolls regardless. Okay, but I also have advantage because the target's prone, so it's a straight roll anyway. Yes. Cool. Flurry of blows. Go on. Uh, one of those is sheet. Uh, one's 11, the other's 24. 24 hits, 11 misses. Cool. Uh, where are you, smelly bitch? Right here, bro. Relax. Uh, max damage, so 4 plus 4 plus 2. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Fuck this booty pipe. Stay here on the ground with me. <laughs> Eat the damage. Sounds good. Is that your turn? Cool. Yes. It is going to legendary action because you're pissing um, it off. And like, one, yeah, that's my there's job. There's just like a like vine that sprouts from like it's inside and it's just going to like try and just like <laughs> across your face, just like decking you with it. Uh, cool. That happens. He gets eight points of temporary HP. I already had 10, so. Okay, I don't know. Uh, 24 to hit. Yes. Yes. It's not hard. 
Uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. She just got uh, half to seven, I guess, because you're raging. She gets, she gets yep. smacked across the face, or across the jaw with one of its thick vines. Okay, um, that's fine. I'm, I'm still into my temp HP. Good, good, good. It can suck these knots. Hawthorne! Shooting it! Go on. Uh, 19. Hits. One pissing damage and roll a DC 10 con saving throw. You gotta be fucking piss shit and coming. Um, uh, that's nine. what the mound's made of. It's a nine, but he's I think gonna. I one pissing damage. He's gonna go use a second legendary resistance to make the save anyway. Damn! Imagine having the legendary resistance. Oh, yeah, man, I rolled, rolled, that. rolled very well oh. on my save. Dude. One piercing damage. One piercing damage. Just Woo! poison you, lol. One pissing damage. <laughs> it's not all it does. It gives you the poison. No, it can also put yeah, you to sleep, right? Yeah, for a minute. Can also put no, you sleep, only no? if you roll a five. Only if you put and roll like no, a five. No, if you roll a five. Only if you roll below. If you five, roll below yeah. a five, you fall asleep. Yeah, but I rolled a natural too, you... so like, I mean, fuck. Uh, so you have total. to resist it. Yeah, but you said it was a nine. Oh, so I guess. It's nine. But it would still, regardless, it's using legendary resistances. Stop questioning my use of legendary resistances! <laughs> Stop <laughs> whining, because he could use this on something more important. So Cunt. let him use it. I just you wanted to bitch. know! Shut the fuck up. Okay, I just wanted... Anyway, you nearly um... dead cleric bitch. <laughs> yes, yeah. you're Teacher, up. you forgot to give us homework! I'll give you fucking homework pleased. in a minute. Give me a, write beat me up a by fucking the dissertation chest. on each fucking dragonborn color and their heritage it due Monday, which is tomorrow, bitch. No. Mo mo <laughs> due Monday in the UK or due Monday in the Netherlands? Due Monday, that's the same. Well, you have an hour extra, I guess. Fuck it, whatever. Okay. Okay, um, we might we finish at like midnight your time, right? True. <laughs> anyway, guess, please save me. You're up. Save me from this. Okay, conversation that I, I don't got want to be a part 27 of. to hit with the first blast nice. and 18 to hit with the second. Both hit. That is uh, 12 force damage for the first one. Okay. Five damage for the second one. Okay. Three thunder and four necrotic. Four necrotic? How would you like to finish it off? Oh! Exact, uh, exact like the... lethal, by the way. It's exact Does that mean lethal. that it just explodes and kills all of us? Well, hold on, depends no. on the case is I, wanted, flavor, I yeah. want the necrotic magic to suck all the remaining life out of it, so all the vines shrivel up and die, and it just turns into like a big bunch of sticks and corpses. <laughs> and brooks. And brooks. <laughs> that is pretty much what happens. Um, and we'll go to the aftermath of what's killing uh, Lorgoth the Decayer. Or the decayed, the decayer, the decayed, the decayer, the decayer, the de decayer, yeah, right. you said. The decayer, yeah. yes, yeah. Um, the decayed decayer. We'll see what that means in the aftermath of that after the break, and hopefully, Soko will be there. Smile. So, we're gonna take a break oh, now, quickly set up oh, for Soko oh. to join us for the rest of the session, and uh, we'll um, continue where we left off in a few minutes. So, be right back, gang. Sweet. Wanking off two men at the Hello? Hello. 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 Oh my god, guys. Look who's Hello. here. Dude. The whole yeah. gang is here. The whole oh, gang. Soko, we missed you, it's buddy. Well yeah, I'm going to have to go by, guys. <laughs> Hold on, I got to quickly adjust some cam stuff because Soko's camera was like. Yep, sorry. Vertical. It was portrait. It's not, it was yeah, it's yeah, just mm. my phone. So yeah, I just sorry. have to quickly make some adjustments, but we're fine. It's all uh, good. How do I sound, though? Sound good. Great. I'm ah. fine. I literally just said this up in the last, like, 20 minutes. No, you're so. good. You're good. Everything. Every, I think everyone Sounds else. good. Bell, what did you say? Never mind. <laughs> Forget everyone it. else. Everyone else, you know, it's as good as it's going to get for now. You know what I mean? Fuck it. We'll, it's fine. It's fine. Audio is more important than video anyway. Um, Hey, gang. We're back. And we'll, uh, we'll just dive straight into it. Or spouse. Uh, as you destroy, uh, or destroyed, rather, uh, Lorgoth, the Decayer, um, the chanting stops. The apparitions surrounding the room 
dissipate and you are met with nothing but just quiet. Hmm. I I want to sign to Kess. So do you think that's the monster in the basement? Does that count? Can we go? I just I I uh, I assume so. Do we think that's the monster? I hope to fucking god that that was the monster Ooh. in the basement because if it's not, I'm fed up <laughs> of this place. I'm fed up of those children. I'm fed up. <laughs> it's Is there dark. any echo it's of angry. chanting left? Uh, fuck me. No, uh, the oh, chanting you, has completely okay? stopped. The operations have dissipated. It's quiet. Do we hear anything? I think there's fucking twigs in my mouth. Nothing. Uh, I am going. <laughs> in this, Oops. in this loop, who who's taken damage? Uh, in this time, mm -hmm. I will with my aura of vitality still up. I'm just gonna roll some HP quick for everyone. Okay. Uh, my... I'm, I get back six. Nice. I'm fine. I don't need healing. Jax doesn't need healing. Dying. I think it's plus how mean. How, how much healing do you roughly need, Dagen? Because I got like a minute of this shit, so... Uh, I need four, 14 to be full. Well, that's nine. And I'll do it again. That's another seven. Oh, I get to do it myself again. Cool, I'm back up to four. And by four, I mean 16. Smile. <laughs> okay. Anyone as you, else hurt? <laughs> as you kind of collect yourself, uh, yourselves in this room, um, suddenly in front of you, the oldest child, uh, Rose, appears. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You've killed the Sorry, monster. Sorry. I know a way out, a secret way that will lead you to the hunting room, um, the main floor, if you want to get out quickly. Please. I do have to warn you, though. I mean... The house isn't particularly pleased with you destroying the monster, and things have changed. The house isn't? She's like, nods. Oh, good. I love sentient houses. What if there's more I... cool, weird... Worthwhile shit in the various sort of corners and cubbies Enclaves we didn't explore in the basement. I mean, I suppose you look, there's some crannies. Suppose well, you could then look. Fantastic, then fantastic news it's gone eaten by this house or some shit because apparently it's changed and it's unhappy. A house well, is unhappy. The house Davian, has a changed. House is unhappy. The basement, the, the, the catacombs, and all, all that. It's mainly, mainly the house. Part of this. So we can go and look at that weird little nook that we went straight past. Yes, we can do that. That is a thing we can. If you want do. to find the secret passageway that leads you directly secret into the hunting room. trophy room, um, when you get back up the stairs from which you enter this, these depths, um, just take an immediate right and go straight until you hit a room. There's a secret ladder there that will take you in the hunting room what annoys me the most is i you know who looked in that hunting room for a... it's fine I can, I can don't that. beat it's yourself fine. up too much it is let's just say that um some doors and passageways throughout the house only reveal themselves when they found a time to be revealed. And this one happens to reveal itself when the house I, is angry. I, well, when you... That or stopping the chanting from happening or killing the monster in the basement could also very I, much I be... Can, I kind of, like, turn away from the ghost looking group. It's like... This is fucked, right? <laughs> like, this is, like... I know it was kind of chill... I just uh, give him like, the most the day, deadpan, like, no fucking shit, I like, told you so. Yes, this like, is fun, yeah, just yeah, like, just, you, just so you know when you, like, you like, suddenly have that, it's like, you know when the penny finally drops, but like, you've been too stubborn and you just like, even now, like, I'm like, this is being stubborn, like, like this is like, right? Like, this, like, this is fucked, <laughs> like, <laughs> am I the only one who thinks this, or? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, this, uh, this, is, totally this place is me. fucking awful. 
Mm. So I hate it. I hate it so much. It started off so well. It That's didn't so start off well. Did it? Sorry, no. It started off with two dead children. No, it we started off with dead. being fucking teleported somewhere where people avoid the mist and you can't see the sky. Yeah, when when Lazarus said she didn't know they were dead, I just signed a kiss. I did. Um, Diagon is saying I told you so in like five different languages. Diagon. Not including There's no sign in multiple languages. Yeah, yeah. of oh. course. Diagon. What, you sign, think everyone yeah, there's just common sign the language, way? there's gnomish sign language, there's dwarven sign language, yeah. you know? Uh, in gnomish and dwarven, <laughs> just like you use like your pinky fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I guess halfling also works for that, right? Oh, true. <laughs> well, there's a lot of short races in D&D. Hmm. Yeah. In, in, in fucking giant shining, that means big. And that means small. In fucking dwarvish shining, that means big. And that means small. <laughs> giant signing, you have to use your whole fucking body. Yeah, exactly. All right, giant anyway. signing is just... What do you guys uh, want to do? Well, I guess we can explore the rest of this... To the unexplored rooms. Horrible. Yes, sure. Why? And no, I don't <laughs> really want to stick around that long. I'll be honest. I know I brought it up, but I was just sort of. You do I, but like, Devin, you're the one who has to deal with Kes. Kes is already skipping towards those unexplored rooms. Uh, well, to be fair, this like. The bottom, bottom of the basement where you are now, you've pretty much explored mm -hmm. entirely. But if you go back up the stairs where. You first like discerned, oh, this is where the chanting is coming from. There's a section that you have not explored yet, correct? Yeah, that's why I'm good. Okay. So you oh, head oh, back up the stairs. Feeling responsible <laughs> for her irresponsibility, I will follow Cass. <laughs> All right. So I you kind of follow, uh, follow mm -hmm. the directions that Rose gave you uh, when you're going to the part of the catacombs, I guess, or basement that you haven't explored yet uh you follow the directions and eventually enter a room which i'll describe to you now uh, a room uh festooned with the moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the walls a white alcove in the south wall contains a painted wooden statue carved in the likeness of a gaunt pale-faced man wearing a voluminous black cloak his pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. Who wants to bet that this is wrong? For. Yeah. I just nod in agreement with Kess and point specifically at the wolf and sign to Kess like in our dream. Yeah, exactly. Is this yeah. weird? Is it magical? Is it going to kill me? Hopefully all the above. <laughs> Check Thank some useless spell slots. Just use your wand of magic detecting. On this, Let's see if there's anything weird. Okay, I'll I use my wand of magic detecting. And okay. um, <laughs> the crystal orb in the statue's hand is definitely magical. The rest of it's fine. The rest of it's fine. Yes. I'm gonna He's pick it up. Ryan. By He's the rest trying. of it. Um. Hmm. Well, we probably shouldn't have touched it. Well, not not the magic bit. What are you touching? Sorry. The, not the, the magic. Not the magic bit. <laughs> so that's what I thought you were doing. Okay, so no. the, <laughs> but you are touching the statue. Yeah. Yeah. As you touch the statue, oh, the shadows from the orb just kind of like burst out of the orb, and these five shadows just I form guess. around the statue and attack you all. So I'd like you all to roll initiative again. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, no. No one has Vigilant Blessing right now. Nope, no one's got Vigilant Blessing. Guys, I just rolled another natural 20. That's like three for me today. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is- Hang on, Ethan's panicked like- All I'm gonna say is, I'm back, guys. Yay! Um, yeah. hey. He is. Um, Secret tunnel. <coughs> but, but you know you can- Oh, never mind, I'm, I'm stupid. Ignore me. Ignore me. True. Ignore he is me. stupid. What were you about to correct me on? Nothing, don't worry about it. <laughs> what were you gonna say? No, don't worry about it. No, what, what was it you forgot about? <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's all, everything's fine. Are mm. you good? <laughs> Stupid. I'm just like lacking the brain cells. I'm just a dumb, gonna, gonna correct dumb. me? 
Hmm? Yeah, I was. I was gonna be like, why the fuck are you just rolling random? Why are you just rolling d20s? Like, you yeah. took buttons. And I'm <laughs> Who like, knew? And then, and then I was like, then... Hawthorne. Yeah. Initiative okay. on here. Um, initiative 20 mm. plus. Dagon. I got 24, but it's a natural 20 if that makes a difference. Okay. Anyone else? Goody. Uh, 15 to 20. 18. 16. 18. For Cass. 18 for Lazarin. 16 for Cass? Yep. Okay. 10 to 15? Oh. Sorry? 12. Okay. Your mic was like cut out when you fucking did that. So I was like, <laughs> ah, that's all that we later? heard. 12 for Davion. Five Davion to... became French there for a minute. Yeah. Davion. Do we need to ask my role. <laughs> Davion. No, 5 to 10? Anybody? <laughs> Eight nine. For Nine and eight. I'll give you one guess on what I rolled. Minus Fucking one. Zero. Minus, minus, one. Minus, minus one. Minus one. Minus, minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. <laughs> so it goes back, baby. Woo! I fucking hate this. Woo! Okay, so, so these five so shadows, the crystal orb in the statue's hand, now completely empty. And it seemed that it just like the shadows were the magic -y bits that, that, that was sensed uh, around this yeah. orb. That are now have now formed around you. Um Daigon, you get to go first. So the orb is still there, it's just no longer like the colors changed because these it's things. It's just came a glass, empty glass orb now. It seemed that it just held the shadows inside of it, and when Kes touched the statue, that was the trigger for the shadows to defend their master, as it were. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna use my attack action, but I'm gonna go for a double kick on the glass orb and try and break the orb. Okay. Uh, just uh, roll an attack. Okay, the first one is a 24, the second one is a 15. Okay, both hits, uh, roll damage. I just, I just like threw some dice and it was so loud because it hit the TV. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, the first one is six points, and this is just bludgeoning damage, and mm -hmm. the second one was seven points of bludgeoning damage. So with one kick, you like kick the glass orb out of the hand, and the second kick, you just fucking roundhouse kick it, and it just shatters. Nothing happens. Shadows are still there. Okay, good luck, so, but no you, never, you never know. Um, mm -hmm. Bonus action. I'll go for, after that kick, we'll go for almost like like capoeira style, like doing like the, where you jump. It's like doing a cartwheel, but without your hands touching the ground and go for, while doing mm -hmm. it, kicking one of the shadowy figures. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oakley, Oakley, uh, make an attack. It was so close to a natural one. I was going to cry because that's my whole vibe. But uh, instead, it's a 14? Hits. Uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. All right. Uh, Actually, I, I'm going to uh, stretch the claws out for that one so it's slashing instead of bludgeoning. Okay, uh, the result's the same. Um, so you, like, slash across, and although these shadows are mostly, just, like, incorporeal, right? Corporeal, you can feel incorporeal can't, mm -hmm. right? That's it. Uh, oh, you do feel some course. resistance, but your claw does definitely just kind of like shoo, through it. But there's a little bit of resistance there, but not like you were slashing at like a solid object or person. So you feel something, it just doesn't really quite feel normal to you. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Uh, okay, is that your turn? Yep, I'm done. Elazarin, me boy. I... 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 Well, the fuck am I going to do, man? I, mm -hmm. I was not prepared for, like, big combat. I took a lot of utility shit, and I fucking hate myself for it. Mm. So, why don't we, at second level, I'm going to cast Sleep. Okay. Sure, how many fucking D8s is this going to be? Seven D8s. Oh. A 
apparently my mom just turned on her AirPods because all of a sudden my computer switched. I'm like, she must have just heard a snippet of the session. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Lazarin? Hello. As you cast sleep, uh, it doesn't do anything as undead creatures are immune to the sleep spell. Uh, undead as creatures are immune to being charmed. Sleeper. Oh. Undead, Sorry. more like un veg. <laughs> Shut nice. Up. Fucking nice one. Is there anything I else will... you'd like to do? I just, just fucking shoot myself in the face, I think. Um, no, nice. I'll, I'll just back up a bit. Digger flame. He just... Yeah. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> I will, I will, I'll just back up a bit. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the shadows, uh, there's, there's six of you, I'm just gonna roll a d6 and see who the fucking targets. Number two, which in this is again Elazar, and I, dude, I am so sorry, I'm man. Up Fuck you. Yeah, it will fucking <laughs> float at you menacingly. Is that what you want to hear? You can't put him to sleep and that's the last straw. And <laughs> right uh, as it's going to try and strength drain you. Oh, is it now? Yes, it is. Is. No health for Elazarin, no strength for Elazarin, just leech all your stats. Literally, it's got my uh, wisdom, from streetwise. That's what you think. It's a natural 20. Hit. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, Another natural 20! So <laughs> it was a DM natural 20. I'm not doing it for Dutch. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Um, what's your he max HP? Not, what's your HP right now? Not apply to him. Sixteen is my max HP. Sixteen? Yeah, because it's fucked Wait, already. So a nine does get doubled to eighteen, huh? Oh, oh, I'm dead. You're not dead. You're unconscious. No, you're, you're dead. Unconscious. You're not dead. You're unconscious. Life drain is like, yeah, but, yeah, but uh, no, strength, strength. The strength drain. You also reduce your strength it's when your strength hits zero. It does damage, but it also reduces your strength. But it doesn't like th- those rolls are separate. So like damage oh, wise, oh, you're oh, unconscious. One d four, I think, for strength. Yeah. So damage, you are unconscious, and your strength score is reduced by three. I've got five strength. <laughs> oh, so you're fine <laughs> still. You're unconscious. You're not dead. You're unconscious. You're unconscious. You're unconscious. And you have the weak as hell. Daddy chill. <laughs> right? Fucking hell. Um, that is its turn. So you guys so watching, you see a Lazarin fall unconscious to the floor as the shadow is just like draining energy from him. Um, Kess, you're up. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. I just felt bad Stoker missed out on the first fight, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna miss out on this one, too. Is that a new rule? Negative initiative just means you sit it out? You just don't get to play? Uh, <laughs> just I just don't exist. I just, I just have to re-roll on my turn to actually try and get an initiative that's positive. <laughs> you just disappear into the astral plane? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna move, with my bonus action, move Hex onto the one that Fucking oh, actually, I'm not annihilated. Dead. You're not what? The last because I had temp HP from my dome. True. <laughs> I got five health. Oh, you're good then. You're chilling. Still oh, five really? strength, but I get yeah, my strength, my health, the same number. <laughs> my maximum okay. didn't get fucked. So as you're well, not right? So fucking retcon that. Not unconscious. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was just being dramatic. <laughs> yeah. So what are you doing now? <laughs> and just being hit. Totally conscious. I'm doomed. I'm fading. I I'm do, gonna. I... I'm gonna hex that one and then Eldritch blast it twice. Okay. Like, like, Roll your attacks. Just like. Oh. Dirty twenty. Hits. And fifteen. Also hits. So the first one is thirteen points of force damage. Plus three thunder. Sorry, come, come and, roll by me again. Uh, that was 13 points of force damage. 13 points of force damage? Okay. Yep. How much thunder? Then uh, three. Three, okay. And then nine points of force damage. And. Yeah, with those two Eldritch Blasts, you obliterate this shadow as it just. Just kind of, and there's like this shadowy, dark dust kind of fl- falls down near Elazrin. Um, oh, I didn't even get to use my hex damage. No. So sad. Doesn't stop or doesn't uh, return the strength points that you lost, though, Elazrin. Those are still gone. 
Man, yeah. Dude, strength got reduced, max HP got reduced. Last one time, bad. He's just having a great time. <laughs> he's, <laughs> like, he's gonna oh, like. He doesn't we will start losing. We'll inches, be leaving the house, right. and he's just a gray a little <laughs> bit. <Yeah. laughs> this is in the same day where Lazarus like had a major like panic attack in this yeah. twenty four hours. Yeah, he's had. He's had like, a panic attack. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna be just carrying around. So all kind of fucking crazy. <laughs> more like fucking rest. Yoda by the time we get out Anything of here. Anything else you, uh, you want to do, Cass? This is going to be like 24 hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, no, that's it. That's safe for Loki. Uh, uh, another this. shadow exactly. is going to. Oh, we'll two see. again. See what happens. Number four. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Which is Brooks. Brooks. Hello. Uh, attempt to strength drain you. Oh, drain me, daddy. Oh, uh, go on. Grab his nits. 19 to hit. Uh, yes. For a these. total of nine points of necrotic damage. And your strength is reduced by four. By four? By four. Yeah, then our Brooks looks, looks like a Lazarin. I'm still Before at 14. Before he got strength drain. Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, you know, he's got a lot of strength. Fire. I'm okay. Yeah. My base. <clears throat> Um, yeah. another shadow is going to, I rolled a six. Who is that? Is that Jax? Might be Jax. That is Jax. Shadow's going to move up to Jax and also attempt to strength drain. Ah, he's a pussy, bro. With a dirty 20 to hit. Ah, uh, he's not a pussy. <laughs> uh, for, ah, only seven points of necrotic damage. Uh, okay. But also a four, so your strength got reduced by four. Um, well, that's your strength buddies almost. One more shadow is going to move to Daigon. I've rolled a different number on the D6 every time. So Daigon is also going to attempt to strength drain you, which is an 18 to hit. You take 7 plus 2, 9 points of necrotic damage. And your strength is reduced by 2. Good thing I don't use that stat. <laughs> Well, at zero strength, you just die. So, like, you're definitely good to have strength. So, no saves. Yep. <laughs> zero strength equals is there dead. To, <laughs> is there a way on D and D Beyond to make sure I note that that's temporary? Temporary. Uh, just, on the, just override. Oh click on it. Override score, and then at the end, you can just delete that. Oh, it doesn't move that. There you go. I just put other modifiers. Good thing I don't use that stat. Well, hold your bones together. So <laughs> it you kind of need it. It kind of do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Davian, it's your turn. Hello, for me. Uh, uh, how many people? Mm, are they in a cone? They've all kind of just like spread They're apart, uh, hanging around different people of your party at this point. There's one. Yeah, but like, one... if I wasn't concerned about collateral damage, could I hit them all with a funny axe? <laughs> <laughs> Except the Lazarus and Not his friends. Not all of them, but definitely like three of the four remaining shadows. Yeah. That is, you know, that means you also hit Brooks, Jax, and Daigon. Because yeah. they're all, like, Brooks, adjacent Jackson, to them. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They're only a little bit weak. <laughs> it's a deck save. Like, I know... Yeah, Jax will Daigon be fine. Jax will get Jackson. hurt. Jax will get hurt. <laughs> like, dick. He'll be singed, but he's a healthy man. Right? <laughs> He'll be, like, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be healthy, man. Let's just cut back to the beginning of the episode with like, Jax is days numbered. <laughs> <laughs> very numb. <laughs> Daddy's oh, gonna put the nail on the coffin. He's got one shot in the grave. When we said he's got a countdown, he meant in hours, not days. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what Daigon was counting down to. <laughs> yeah. Right, so is that, are you doing that? Three times. Oh, I feel like everyone's going to be pissed and it'll be a whole like, oh, don't Do blow yourself up. But instead, it's going to be like, don't set everyone else on fire. <laughs> Would Davian have that more. thought process within six seconds? No, that's the thing that Mandy was burning hands in our lights. He'd do it and then afterwards he'd be like, oh, fuck. Oh, this is gonna be like, how could I, how much could I mitigate the collateral damage here? Not really. Because no, that's like three of them are attached to your homies. They're like in the, within there, like you know, like ad adjacent to them. So there's no do way for the con to cut in a way. Are there two was... stuck in a Lazarin? Is that what's happening? No, no, no. There's one, one like the one, one that was stuck in okay. Lazarin died, but there's one like sucking Diagon, there's one sucking Jax, and there's one sucking Brooks. 
Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just move alongside Lazarin and then just go boom through okay. the room with the burning hands. Yeah, fuck it. Those deck saves. Um, yeah. Why Everyone... the fuck would you do this? Because <sighs> can't believe you've oh. done this. Listen. The grenades that's been in Brooks's pocket this whole time, save. like yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got rid of that black powder. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, the hey, shadows a rolled a 5, a 9, and a 17. Oh, one 16. of them saves. The DC is a 13. Oh, sick. Oh, thank God for that. I rolled a 7, so that's a 13. Um, What did you? What are the other two So roll? it's 11. I got 16. Okay. I mean, you know, Daigon saved. Probably. Yeah. Uh, 11 points of fire damage, so half to 5 on those who made the save. So two of them take 11, one of them takes yeah, five. I and rolled then... a 21, I'm fine. Yeah, okay. So that becomes two for me, right, Dutch? Because you're a tiefling, yes. Yes, cool. Oh, shit. See, guys, it wasn't that bad. This is literally a divinity playthrough. Yeah, yeah it's literally. Just sat in I the mean, corner, just like, I no, because I haven't got my life right now. It's I mean, a divinity I'll, listen, point I'll hit him back, don't worry. It's our Divinity and our Baldur's Gate playthrough yeah. because I spend half my time shoving. True. Also, like, um, five hit points is so bad, but in grand scheme of things, five hit points is still 10% of my entire health pool, so... Um, you do realize five now, though, points, Davian, uh, that as... It seems that fire doesn't particularly disturb these shadows as much. Oh. <laughs> uh, fire didn't work! Disconnect. <laughs> I've never seen someone more than he hurt quit. the shadows. Hey, I've never seen someone Sorry? rage quit. <laughs> what was that? Fire doesn't really particularly disturb these shadows. That's really fucked up. <laughs> I love you. The rest of your party <laughs> double damage. All he's done, all he's done, is ensure that anyone who dies here has to have a closed casket. <laughs> oh, trust me. I mean, Jack could have to anyway. Let's be real. I mean, there's a bunch of empty like coffins like in the crypts, right? Yeah. Like, what you find, yeah. So, there you go. Oh, uh, going to write his own name on them one. They're not going to be empty for much longer. <laughs> there's six the of you, and there's six empty coffins. Mean, math checks out. Um, <laughs> no. Um, is that your turn, Davian? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> Yeah, does it know? He doesn't know. Uh, yep. Brooks. Wait, is Onu dead? No, Onu is just No, outside. he's in the garden. Onu's outside. Uh, yeah. Oh, did, I thought you said he's in the car. Yes. There's a shadow big dicking on me. There's a shadow trying to, like, strength drain you, yes? Oh, he's a smelly bitch. I'm going to use my hand axe of thunder wave to fucking slap him. Go on. Hand axe of thunder wave. Okay, uh, uh, fucking 17. 17 hits. Eight points of slashing damage. It's a magical slashing damage, right? Because it's an enchanted yes. weapon. Yerp, yerp, yerp. Okay. And then I'm going to spend a key point to flurry of blows. Go on. Uh, one of those is a fucking 11. That just misses. <laughs> uh, the other one is a 23. That hits. <clears throat> so that becomes four points of non-magical bludgeoning. Four points, all right. Uh, because I used Flurry of Blows, mm -hmm. I gain the benefits of the disengage. One. <sighs> so there's one in melee with me. Mm -hmm. There's one in melee with Jax. Yes. One in melee with Dagon. Yes, and there's one yeah. still without anyone near him. Near it. Okay. Who is that one nearest to? Cass. Who are the weaker members of the group? Cass and fucking Elazarin, right? If you talk about, like, strength, then... Uh... My strength is nine. So you are the lowest, I think. Minus uh -huh. five currently. Eight is my base. Not current. Oh, eight is your base. Well, you've already got one in your booty pipe. He's dead now. Uh, no, he's dead. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the fucking shitty fucking Morpheus scene from the Matrix, <laughs> where he Morpheus. goes fuck this and dives Morbius? out the, <laughs> dives out the fucking Morpheus toilet guy? wall. I'm gonna intercept this shit and regret all my choices. 
I'm going to move into melee with the one that's near Kess. Okay. It's Morbin time. <laughs> it's Morbin time. Um, I'm going to morb my fucking poster into my Is that your turn, on. Ethan? Uh, no, I'd like to take free action to fucking fuck. Fuck, fuckity fuck. Okay. Hawthorne. It takes more than Let's one get this party tabulating. Can I shoot the one uh, that's closest to me? Because why not? Shoot the one closest to you? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Roll an attack. Uh, 17 plus whatever. Oh, that will but hit, I think yeah. 17 already hits. That'll hit, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, one piercing damage and a constitution save. Uh, it's 13. Nah, he's fine. Okay. Ah, uh, he's immune to being poisoned anyway, so it doesn't matter. Nah, he's actually um, fine. Yeah. He's immune to being cool as well. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Um, is, that, is that Hawthorne's turn? Yep. I mean, the shadow that was going to go for Kess now has a Brooks in its way, so it's just going to fucking strength drain Brooks. Yeah, because it's a cunt. That's a natural 20. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, it doesn't. No. It doesn't double the strength roll, and I've got health pool for days. Just don't uh, roll another four, you cunt. Fourteen plus two, sixteen points in necrotic damage. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. I can tank it. And your strength gets reduced by. Don't roll a four. Don't roll a four. three. That's still not a four. I'll take it. Yeah. And that is its turn. Jax, you get a turn, man. I get to play the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, hey, buddy. That guy's still on me, huh? There's still a guy uh, shucking you off. You'll yeah. just shatter the whole party. Fuck it, dude. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's just magic missile it? Second level? Thoughts? What, four darts, right? Yeah, I think so. It's been a while. Let me check. I think so. I think base uh, is three, and then it's one for each spell level higher, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to do three on mine, okay. and then one on the one that hit die again. Okay. So for mine, that's... Okay, that's 10 plus 3. Uh, 13 points of force damage. 13 on yours? Yep. It's exactly enough to fucking blow it to pieces. So you just... Oh. <laughs> as these three darts just shoot straight through this like ghastly shadow and it just kind of <laughs> poofs then the fourth and final uh dart you send in the direction into the direction of the one on Daigon, right yep and it does four points of force damage four points of force damage all right good shit <clears throat> all right uh i mean two down three to go uh and i think that's my turn okie dokie i have bonus actions Okay, uh, Daigon, back to you. All right, uh, I'll just do attack, attack, and do a spinny, spinny kick into a jab. On just the one just roll the first, roll the first one first, because he's not looking particularly healthy. Ooh. Natural two for a total of nine. So that's not gonna hit. No. Uh, and the next one is eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. Okay, uh, that does hit. Or Eight slashing damage. Eight slashing damage. Yeah, that will finish yours off as well. Again, your claw goes through it, or or your kick. I forget which one. You claw, right? Was it claw? The jab. The kick missed, and the then the missed, jab. And you just fucking jab it, and again you connect. It feels a little weird. It's kind of this weird, like semi corporeal, semi not. It's it's a very weird feeling. Um, it kind of I guess feels like you know. If you like, kind of stick your hand through like a bunch of like cobwebs or something, it's kind of like that same feel to you. Um, but you just stick your fist in there, and it just <laughs> explodes into just this like blackish dust. Um, two to go. One, both of them, kind of hard focused on Brooks actually. Yeah, I'll just do the same for my bonus action attack. <clears throat> the same move earlier, where I kind of like. Basically, it's a flourishy jump where it's like the, the no-handed cartwheel and trying to land the last leg as the kick on one of the ones on Brooks. Um, are you going to have to move for that a little? No, yeah. You have to like move a little bit, but you have movement for days, so you're okay. fine. Yeah. So I'll take like a, like a one-two step before I do it, and then... Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, roll attack. Uh, 14 to hit? Okay. Uh, nine points of slashing damage. Nine points of slashing damage. Alrighty. There we go. Is that your turn? Yes. Elazarin. Hi, hi. Hello. Smells. True. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, God. So there's two shadows left. Both of them are surrounding Brooks. Do I cast coins myself? One. <clears throat> it's not a fish, Ooh. but okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Elijah in the corner curing his own wounds. <laughs> heal, I heal oh, back I up to. I heal back up to full. Elijah's the morty of this party. <laughs> you're a you're a bitch. Next, <laughs> go on. Okay, anything else? I'm not the Elijah? one fucking whimpering in the corner healing. <clears throat> Licking his arm. Healing's for pussies. <laughs> like a wounded dog. Anything else you want to do? Uh, that... uh, no. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? No. I fucking I can move further out the room. Fuck this. Okay. I'm fucking running away. I thought it was gonna like bonus action damage me. Go on. No, uh, I'm just gonna run away. Fair I'm enough. Feet back. I ain't give a fuck. I'm um, scared. In that case, Kess, you're up. Yay! I'm gonna Eldritch Blast the one uh fucking Brooks ran at. Okay. Eldritch Blast two of them. Uh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna blast that one with one Eldritch Blast and then. She didn't actually do what I said, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone listening to Duke's advice in Wait, So you're going for one on each? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, why okay. not? So roll your attacks. Watch them both live to butt fuck me. <laughs> it will be Duke's fault for making me do this. Your reason we're in this mess. 26 hits. <laughs> 21 on the second. Also hits. <clears throat> the first one is six force damage and three thunder. Yeah, that one also just poof. As it, as and the, the second one is uh, 10 damage. 10? Yeah. Exactly enough. So the final two, you just like... <laughs> as both Elders Blast just like at the same time hit both of the uh, shadows and both of them just... <laughs> and Nothing just too flammable in here, dust. right? Uh, no, not really. Okay. But that is the shadows uh, defeated. My shadow. Are you guys okay? Does the strength Fuck change me. last until we rest? I'm guessing. Uh, well, it hasn't faded yet, so that's all. That's all you know. We don't. Know. Happen. You look around. Good job, I softened them up for you to finish them off there, Kessa. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. For Sorry that. about the fire, guys. Just I wanted to deal with as many as I could in one go. Seems smart you to me. You managed to singe my fucking jacket. <laughs> It'll mend. It'll mend. It fucking better. This is brown. Singe the ghosts mind. as well. So, Hear hearing the like conversations now happening, I'm like very cautiously walking <laughs> back into the room, just okay. like very slowly, very weakly. Hey, Lazarin. Oh, there's the fucking I... runaway child. <laughs> Hi, hi. Yep, everything hurts. Everything hurts so bad. Oh, <laughs> I've just got used to it at this point. <laughs> Do you is need there a potion? anything else in here that seems fun? Uh, well, this is the You're... room that you got instructed. There was a secret entrance, and with that knowledge and the fact that the perception DC to spot this secret entrance is only a ten, I'll say that with your insane passive perception of like a million, you notice 18. that there is a layer of clay that kind of broke off a little bit on the northern wall and there is a door handle behind that layer of clay that has been revealed but there's also oh, a the path the clay okay but there's also a pathway that leads south out of this room that piques your interest i'm gonna eldritch blast the clay and then move towards the south Eldr you eldritch blast the clay and it just like shatters and the door being so old and, and moist and rotten it just <laughs> blows apart revealing a staircase that goes up there you go alazrin what? What do you mean? They? I'm not gonna go by myself. Are you? Are you mad in the head? Are you wrong? What's wrong with you? I'm gonna go Where else up would you be and mad? With you? No. Oh, well, I'm not playing <laughs> that one. Lazarin. 
Hello. Get your shit alive. together. I'm I'm here. I'm fine. I'm good. You sure? No. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. God, my legs fucking hurt. God, my... <laughs> it looks, what to be honest, sounds... like most of you hurts at this point. Mm. I, well, I can feel my Lazarin. legs. I gesture to a Lazarin if he wants to piggyback. I'm good. I'm fully. And you, I can like <laughs> hobbling. It's that like. Fucking hell. <laughs> So at this point, just five. <laughs> you have a choice to either continue exploring this area by going south or just dipping out by taking the staircase behind this like clay mess that Cass revealed. Cass is looking south just to see. Okay. I'm just sort of looping my arm around hers and slowly taking her to the doorway. No, no, no. There's just like a little bit more. Come on. A Lazarin is fucked. Yeah, he can you go. I don't care. Nearly got fucked. No, it was fine. You ran Without in front of Without Alazrin, we don't necessarily have access to any magic light. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there for you. I won't I mean, touch I anything. I mean, I look. If it gets dark without Alazrin with us, we will be in the dark. <laughs> and Alazrin needs to go up the stairs. I so mean, are you coming with us or are you risking the dark? I also I mean, signed because can go. I think we had enough of this. Like this, this whole I mean, place. I'm pretty sure it's not... it's time to go. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, but Kess, there was such big any... secrets coming up ahead. Kess, no, do have... don't say. I want to go south. <laughs> Kess, we're I fo leaving. I fo you can either you can either walk with us or I can carry you. But we are leaving. There's no way to carry to. me. Don't I just signed to Kess. I'll help him. <laughs> Is just sitting there like we don't have to leave. Don't have to leave. Okay. <laughs> are, are we are we going or am I carrying you? What? Not you. You can carry. Oh, yourself. I mean, well, I'm saying we could go. It's only like probably only one more room. He said we could no. go. We could go. No, I immediately pick Kess up. I'm, I'm fine. Like, I'm gonna do anything yeah. I can to help Brooks too, just to mobilize her. Like, nope, we're leaving. Let's go. I like HP wise, blade wise. I look perfectly fine. I just look a bit weak and frail. Yeah, <laughs> we'll and you're losing like your shit. Room. So Brooks is like, no. Oh, we're gonna make come on. those like trussed up hog tied situations where Brooks has like her arms and I have her legs, and we're just like, nope, <laughs> just let's go. <laughs> yeah, just one, just like <laughs> firemen's carry over one Sick. shoulder with one arm. No, come on. Yes, I'm like gonna one take the liberty here of saying that there's that you may if if it was only one of them trying to hold you back, I'd give you a chance. But there's two of them <laughs> just like dragging you back. That you're not the strongest. Hi. You're pretty. You know... I'm gonna take a peek down the south corridor. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, as you take a peek, uh, what you, you see is <laughs> rocks fall. Um, Shroud in the shower. A door in the southwest corner. Um, a pretty like a big door, like a double door in the south. Uh, what did I say? Southwest corner. Um, the room before the door is just pretty simple, like a table with a chandelier suspended above it. Uh, two high back chairs flanking the table. Uh, some empty clay jugs and flagons with some, uh, you know, just kind of sitting on the table. Uh, the only thing, there is a, there is a do set of double doors there that would lead further on. Is it a nice set of double doors? They don't look rotten and gone to shit as most of the doors have looked in this uh, dungeon. Is everybody else walking out? Bell's fucking face right now. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I see, if Please. I see, if I the only one left down no, 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 there, is what I'm on. asking. No, if I'm seeing right, Brooks and Daigon like occupied with Kess, and I start seeing Jax walk off, <laughs> you know I'm gonna be following Jax. <laughs> you know I'm gonna try <laughs> and just be like, if yep, you, you've got it. Does a Lazarin have <laughs> to pass us to go towards Jax? I mean, it's a, big, it's a pretty big room, and you're. You two no, are like, like oh, you're am, I gonna no, am I gonna notice him going the other way? I'm how I, was, I was sort of trying to I'm shepherd I'm him to the stairs. Nah, I'm sneaking. <laughs> I'm trying to stealth where I see you were trying like, to stealth? Yeah, you and took, plus you you're back pretty preoccupied with trying to fucking get Kess to back up, so... While she's fighting you every while step While she's like, I mean, <laughs> being a little twat. She's just like, come on, it's like one more room. So I'll say, Elazrin, roll a stealth check. 
Oh yeah. Uh, with advantage. And that's oh, a twenty. Like, it's not a twenty. I'll do it with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> can we just can we just take a minute to appreciate Lassen's like I'm so done. I hate it here. I want to leave. And now we're literally actively trying to do the thing he wanted. And all of a sudden he's like, No, I lied. I changed my mind. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's an asshole. <laughs> Brooks, I'll say roll a perception but check. <laughs> but like you're gonna have to other... beat his natural twenty. What what what's your plus to? Um... Three. It's twenty three. So there's no chance of me beating it. Even if I nat twenty, it's dueling nat twenties. There's no point. Okay. Well, in that I... case, Lazarin, you Fair slink enough. by while Brooks and uh, so Diagon are preoccupied. It's literally the FOMO in Lazarin. He's just like. We could probably go, and then he's like, someone else is going to look. He's like, well, I wanted to look. We <laughs> shouldn't. He's like, if someone else is going, I'm not going to stop. Okay. I'm going to open the doors. And I look at you, and he's like, Jax, what you found? <laughs> so you touch the door? Oh, no. <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that, dude? Instant <laughs> karma, you dumb. So as you touch the door to open it, <laughs> your hand becomes adhered to the door. As it turns oh, out to be yeah, a mimic, dude. and there's oh, like mouth it. appears on the set of double doors, and I would like you to roll initiative. Fucking karma! <laughs> oh, are we within range to at least know that there's a fight? We'll find out. Well, well I mean, I well, I'll say that <laughs> Lazarus sees this, and it can probably just be like, oh, or something. Like, it's up to him. Do you want? Do you want me to also roll initiative? <laughs> yeah, you two at least. Oh, is it just them rolling right now? For now, yes. It depends on Lazarin. Yeah. I'm Jax. It's not a good number. <laughs> That's okay, because mine was a decent number for once. Okay. No, you can do that. Jax's that first turn in combat one? is just going to be I'm like... Are we all rolling again? Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, just for now, it's just Coco, them two. There's things that you can do as Jax, surely. What do you mean? I can't do anything as Jax. I fucking, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want to matter it. I'm honestly Good. not sure what you're referring I'm not, to. I'm not playing as Jax right now. Exactly. So let Jax play Jax. Let Sokol play Jax. Sorry. Um, what did let you roll, Sokol and Quibs? Uh, I have a fifteen. Fifteen. Seven. Nice. Fucking loser. Single digit loser. <laughs> uh, the mimic. Okay. I roll a natural twenty on initiative, so the mimic is gonna go. Oh, yeah. Hog. Okay. By Jax. <clears throat> I'm considered restrained. Uh, is going to just attack you as its like mouth kind of appears around the door handle which you've grabbed. And it's just gonna fucking try and chomp. Uh which is a 17 to hit. Uh does not hit. Does not hit. So somehow, I guess you know you have the armor on, so the armor kind of just like protects you from the teeth to really be able to to take a chomp from your arm. Um that is its turn, Jax. Yep, 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 yep. Um, sorry, I have a lot of spells I haven't played in a while. Um, no oh, good. I'm gonna use my action to cast Mirror Image. Oh? Yeah. So two other, like, Jaxes pop out, or three other Jaxes pop out next to me. No. Okay. See, you lose duplicates of your uh, <clears throat> period of your space. Uh, they mimic your actions, shifting position, so it's impossible to track which image is real. Uh, so every time someone attacks you while the spell is up, um, roll a d20 to it determine whether it attack it's, hits you or one of your duplicates. Uh, yep. Oh, and it says here with three duplicates, six or higher means it hits. And duplicates and like that di that dc hey, comes higher and higher the less duplicates you have okay i see cool dope hell yeah and they all have an ac of eight <laughs> yes and ac AC equals 10 plus your text modifier <laughs> <laughs> good one Jax. very good hey okay hits take. hey man fuck it <laughs> is that your turn <laughs> Uh, then I'm gonna bonus action use my uh, defensive field Ooh. to gain five temporary hit points. Okay. Is that your turn? That is my turn. All right, Lazarin. I am just gonna assume it's gonna be an action to call. Uh, I guess it could be a free action to call out. I'll give you a free action I... to be like, ah! It's like, oh god, help! Help! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like Zoinks gang! Like Zoinks totally s- Um, uh, and I- Oh, <laughs> And I will, uh, cast Guiding Bolt on the fucking door? Yeah, yeah, the mimic, yeah. <laughs> I love how that was a question. The door? Big doors! Uh, that's Big just door. a red roll to hit, right, for Guiding Bolt? Yeah, I roll. That one. Sanch. It's a Sanch day, boys. Why? A 13 is not going to hit, right? It is. Big door, hard to miss. Guiding Bolt's hit with a 13. Big big door, really. Mm, really big door. Every time you hit it, you've got to say Alakazam or Open Sesame. Alohomora. Alohomora? Yeah, isn't that the Harry Potter, like, open mm, book spell? Hello, Laura. Vera. <laughs> Evening, uh, sorry, I got what? Uh, what the fuck is my thing? It's just 46. Cool, that's 14 points of damage. All right. Cool. As the mimic gets hit, it's kind of hit his like <laughs> sound that it makes as, as it just still just like has its mouth kind of like it's toothy, like maw kind yeah. of like a surrounding the door handle, which Jax is stuck to. <laughs> Shows you more. And also, the next attack against it has advantage. There you go. Uh, with that, now that that's your turn, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Uh, let everyone else roll initiative now. Since you've been alerted. Can I also just use, uh, before we get into proper initiative, a mm -hmm. free action, as soon as a Lazarin cries out, like, help out, hurts, I just make sure Kess is looking and sign, told you so. Sure. Yeah, and, then um, so help. and then it was gobbled mess. Any 20 plusers for that, uh... 27! Oh, oh my goodness. Is that a natural 20? Uh, Is that a natural 20, Davian? No. Okay. Davian! <laughs> Why are you yelling at me, you fuck? Because <laughs> you know your internet had gone if you were just fucking blind. I thought, I honestly didn't Bell say Thorn was above 20? I thought he was asking Bell, frankly. No. no yeah. I was asking you. Uh, you had a 27! Yeah, but I have a plus 8. Okay. Anyway, 20 plus anyone else. Thorn? The alert feed. I got oh, 10 yeah, plus 9. Sorry. 21. 21? What did Thorn get? 22. 22. Oh, I'm really going last huh? Nice. Thorn. I forgot Hawthorne was here, to be honest. Yeah, he's just. Brooks. I like the idea that Hawthorne's in the middle helping us carry Kess. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -boom. That's just <laughs> Dagon then? What did you roll? Me? No. Oh, and Kess. Yeah, Dagon and Kess. Sorry. 10. Dagon 10? And I got 17. Whoa, but Dagon. 10. I'm guessing four. that's a natural Dagon. three. Four? I rolled a six. I only have a plus four to initiative. It's my, my dex is plus four. Okay. With that, uh, top of the initiative, we go. Mimic is going to take another attempt at chomping Jax's arm off. Uh, with a 22 to hit this time? Uh, 22 does hit. It's but... crazy. Oh, but. It hits a duplicate. Sorry? It hits a duplicate. Not me. Oh, true. Oh. The fucking damage. Well, I just, yeah, because I guess. All the duplicates just all have their hand on the door, and yeah, it's just there's like four hands just picks one. <laughs> yeah, sure, fuck it. I picture yeah. it's like a, there's a fan of Jax's, like the, yeah. the hand is like the connection point. One's like <laughs> yeah, here, yeah, one's yeah, here, yeah. one's here. Uh, well, We're it really hits just the duplicate, so that means know. one of the duplicates just phew, disappears. Right, that's how it works. As yep. soon as one gets hit, it's gone. So you have two mm -hmm. duplicates left. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Davian. Uh, uh, give it the old. You need to move yeah, about old... 5, 10, 20, like 25 feet to be uh, to be able to see this mimic because you have to go right, around right. the corner. But, I'll uh, run out there and freaking give it the old double Eldritch Blast. Got one. Suppose. All right. Let's go. Oh, no. Uh, I'm hoping to kill it one... before we get to Mirror Brooks so we can just not let go of Kess. <laughs> one is a 12, but the other one was a 24. Uh, both hit. Oh, my God. Okay. Big door. Very hard to miss. <laughs> AC is 12. Oh, I saw, I saw 20, but it's a percentile die, so it's, it's, a, it's two. Uh, so, <laughs> is it too late for me to say I want to imbue elemental power? Can you announce that on a hit? Yes, it's an on hit. Sure. But I already rolled damage. That's fine. Okay, cool. doesn't, that doesn't make a difference, like whether the damage high roll would be higher or lower. Okay, uh, doesn't really matter. 10 points force damage, 8 points fire damage. Okay, hold on, quickly check if there's any resistances or anything. Nope. Okay. Uses so far. 
Excuse me. Uh, yeah, and that's that'll be my turn. Okie dokie. Um, so that's Davian Hawthorne. Uh, it's gonna shoot. How much movement does Hawthorne have? <laughs> uh, Excuse me. That's true. He has to move. Uh, forty feet. Flying. Oh yeah, he can he can make it around the corner easily to see this this mimic. And then he shoots it. Yeah, one. Uh, that's 16. Hits? Yeah. One piercing damage. Wow. And a calm say? Yeah. How much uh, constitution a door have? <laughs> uh, 15, apparently. Uh, 21. Ah, he's fine. He's fine. All right. Uh, so that is Thorn Brooks. I am going to put cast down behind me. <laughs> um, I have 40 foot of movement. Can I get to the door with 40 foot of movement? Let me quickly check for you. Let's say you were here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, 35 feet would bring you beside Jax, pretty much. Oh, I fucking, 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 fucking. Fuck. Okay. Um. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. How tall is Jax? Six foot something. Like, yeah, like six, eight. Six, eight. Okay. Tall boy. Oh, oh, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cast disguise self. Okay. As Jax. Okay. Oh, I'm there we're go I'm gonna go to where Jax is. And I'm gonna okay. not put my hand on it, but okay. like I'm gonna hold Jax's forearm. So basically, to pretend you're also in your image, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Anything else you want to do? Um. Mm, no, because there's nothing else I can do. Okay. Yes. Mm, I'm gonna round the corner. Uh, you you have the movement for that, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put hex on it, and then I want to blast it with eldritch blast. That one. No one could have seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's crazy. 18 to hit with the first one, mm -hmm. and uh, 15 with the second. Both hit. Oh, nice. Six damage, force damage for the first one. Okay. Eight force damage for the second one. Mm -hmm. Three thunder damage, and... One... Two necrotic damage. Okay. Very good. This this mimic just begins to fucking squeal and make these gurgling <laughs> noises as it just keeps getting fucking battered by by whatever it is that hits it. Is that your turn? Yep. Uh, Jax. All right. Um, am I like considered restrained? You're considered grappled. Grappled. So you can uh... make attacks just fine. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cast Thunder Wave on it. Okay. Because that's easier. Uh, Thunder Wave, remind me. Save. Is that like in a cone or a line or how does Thunder Wave work? Uh, it's like a square block. In front so of as long you. as you can like, okay, yeah. I'm just thinking because Brooks is like right beside you, but you can choose yeah, it's the like point in front like of you. From yeah. in front of me in like a 15 okay. foot cube. <clears throat> What's the save on that? Sorry. Constitution. Con natural dude, that went from a fucking seventeen down to a natural one. Right. Nice. Let's go. So he fails. I wonder if this does extra damage to objects. It's technically not an object. Uh, Mimic is technically well, a creature. Cock, so. It just looks like an object. Uh. Fuck. Some bitch, dude. Uh, that is, uh, 10 points of force damage. 10 points? How do you want to finish uh, off this, uh, mimic? Oh, shit. 
Uh, I'm just gonna like... Fuck, my hand's stuck to it. I'm just gonna take my other hand and like beat on it. Just until it just breaks in the splinters. And this like thunder wave just like kind of like emanates from your, from your, from your, from your fist. Yeah, from my fist. And the door, or the mimic rather, the door disappears and the mimic just becomes this like grayish, lanky being and just completely gets blown into the corridor behind this fake door. Just, and just kind of very like dark souls mimic style when they die you know that horrible croaking sound they make that so like, there is a that. there is a corridor behind it there is a corridor behind it yes i immediately drop my disguise turn around look at cass Cass. sorry i need to rephrase there is not a corridor behind it it just opens up into a room with uh and i'll just quickly describe it because it's pretty good yeah, it's, it's right there so i'll describe it for you <laughs> um this room contains a large wood frame bed with uh, a rotted leather mattress, oh. uh, a wardrobe, um, some like iron candlesticks like stuck to the wall, an open crate uh, to the back of the room, uh -huh. uh, and at the foot of the bed is a footlocker, which has a padlock on it, but the padlock seems unlocked. I'm misty stepping as far up. into the room as I can go and straight to that locker thing. I'm gonna try and beat Cass there with my misty step. I'm misty stepping. You could have misty stepped away from the fucking mimic, and I wanted to say that. I'm at the grappled, start. so you technically can't. Yeah, you can. Breaks the grapple. Does it really? Yep. There you go. That's fine. Uh, so um, you three all misty step into the room. How yeah. fucking Cass? I can't step? actually misty step. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, it's not a spell I have. I was just making. I missed my oh, gotcha, gotcha. locker because I know what Cass wants. <clears throat> How far can Cass misty step? Is it sixty feet? Sixty feet. How far yeah. back was she? Like 20, 20 Further back than I was. So she's still within my fucking... No, because you walked further up because she went to the door, right? She was behind you. No, Yeah, no. So when she missed a step 60 feet from where she is, she's still within my range. Melee, no. Oh, no. No, like my walk, my 40 foot travel range. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything, but I'm going over because these two are idiots. So Kess and Jax like, both appear in front of the chest. <laughs> What are you guys doing? I open it. Open it. <clears throat> and I push okay. her out of the way. Although I'm following Brooks. I'm following Brooks going over there and just giving Brooks the biggest, like, mom and dad are pissed off looks now. I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> Go after them. Okay. As you enter like, the room. What's the sign for idiots? As you enter the room um, and appear in front of the cask, or the, not the cask, the um, footlocker, uh, you both put your hand on the lid and you both kind of just like, Yo, together just like open it and like while like looking each other in the eyes just like no but you both open it at the I same time i was so time. hoping it was another mimic when you said you both put your hand <laughs> no, on no, no. it um, <laughs> and in this footlocker you find a folded cloak of some kind um cloak yes um also four potions of healing oh shit a chain shirt <laughs> A mess kit, a flask of alchemist's fire, a bullseye lantern, a set of thieves' tools, and some kind of spell book. Guess did you get that? I got uh, up to the mess kit. Oh, a flask of alchemist's fire? Yeah. A bullseye lantern, a set of thieves' tools. And a yellow and leather spellbook. covered spellbook. Cool. Got it. Uh I'm gonna pull out my magic stick and cast detect magic. Cloak is magic, obviously the four potions of healing are magic, uh, and the spell book is also magic. Okay. I'm gonna grab that cloak. Okay. No one give the cloak to a last I'm gonna I'm gonna take the gonna wear two tools. cloaks. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm gonna take the thieves tools and forget to and use both of them. Pick up the spell book. Okay. As you do, you open the spell book, Kes? You can have no, a look at it. I just pick it up. Okay. Ready. And that's what we're really interested. In. I... While they're rummaging, and oh, we have the mess kit because I don't have one. There you go. So now you have a mess kit. <laughs> I just tap Kes on the shoulder and say, "Can we please leave now?" Was Yay. there something else to search that I'm forgetting about besides the footlocker? There's a wardrobe. Yeah. There might it? be a bogger. 
<laughs> yeah, Comes out as a fucking crypto open showing up. loss. Yeah, we always spent this so much time. Maybe. As you open the wardrobe, two corpses just come falling out. The corpses oh, are no. wearing black robes, but their faces, although like dehydrated and almost mummified, you can clearly see the resemblance to the faces of the two adults you saw on the painting, on the family picture. These appear to be uh, the Durst family, the parents of Rose and Thorn. Oh, shit. <clears throat> the Durst family? Yeah, that's their last name, Durst, yeah. So uh, the the Durst is there a friend around? <laughs> they were cursed. <laughs> There's no friend. <laughs> Their last name means thirst in German. Yes, so it does. Whole, 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 again, vampire, blood drinking, thirst, whole, whole thing. That's, there that's seems to be a bit of You could say this whole thing was just one it's of those days. It's just one of those days. So you could just say it was a thirst trap. It's just a big thirst trap, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything sucks. sucks. It does. Everything's fucked. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want to justify. But I want to justify. Off. So yeah, you as as that happens, no, uh, Jack, you kind of like jump back because you didn't expect that. Other than that, yeah. what's in the closet is just or in the wardrobe, just like a bunch of like old robes and clothing that has yeah. just been like moths have like fucking like chewed big ass holes in it and stuff. It's not nothing really there that Hell seems useful. Is is, is Jack putting everything else in the bag of holding? <clears throat> I can. Yeah, just do that. Uh, the peeling oh. potions I'll hand out to everyone else because I don't need them. How many is there? Sorry? Four total. Four. Oh. So who are you giving them to? Well, I don't need one. Uh, so... I already have four. Yeah, I have like four as well. You're four? Yeah. yeah. I don't have any. Because I don't so use them. I'd love one. Okay. Yeah, I, have I, a, I, I have one. Is it, is oh, no, it I have standard, one. right? Yeah, yeah one. just normal, standard, basic bitch. I'm adding one. Look at these pores, Kess. I'm adding one. <clears throat> oh, no, oh, no. It's it's not about being poor. It's about I've used them. <laughs> yeah. It's about it's dying. <laughs> Because the only other fucker who can heal is you, Jax, and you tend to be at the front. <laughs> <laughs> he does tend to be. I think we need to make sure that anyone we see knows their best bet is to stay away. Also, before we go, can I just grab like my like just some basic knife or something out of my pack and just cut um any of the cloaks that have that like that crest, the like Zarevich crest? Can I just cut that out and pocket it sure. in case we need it for later to show anyone or? Ask questions about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, Should we explode go? everything. Let's go. Now, if we'd let you fucking wander off, <laughs> you would have been the one to touch that. But I wasn't, <laughs> so I'm not to blame this time. I'm not saying you're to blame. I'm saying that you might be fucking dead. If I you... might have Eldritch blasted the door. You Elvish blast every door before you go through it. Well, she did Elvish like. blast the other one I before did. we went through that, so believable. Yeah, but, but the past like eight before that, if not more, she didn't open the doors though. So this right, but place if, uh, fucking you know, sucks. She's on a roll of Eldritch blasting doors. Then you're more Look, likely. I'm not gonna take fucking exploration advice from the woman that grabbed my fucking arm because the room was dark. I. Oh. oh, now that is do hilarious. Not, no, do not bring that. It does not have anything to do with this. Do you not have any torches in your back? No. Really? I'm gonna I'm gonna put my bag down on the floor. I I I have that ball that glows, and even I have like ten torches. <laughs> I was like stupid. Like, I'm gonna I'm base. gonna pull out five torches, and I'm gonna hand them to Cass. Do you have something to light these with? No. I will hand her a tinderbox. That sounds like a lie. <laughs> okay. So as you guys kind of divvy up some torches and uh, healing potions allocated to those who took them and the rest of the goodies were put in the bag of holding, you guys head towards that like door you found behind that clay like wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Yep. As you climb these stairs, you end up back into back in the room, like in the, the, the southeastern corner of the room where those like dire walls were stuffed and you saw the like, crossbow collection and, and like the deer head above the above the fireplace. But the room has changed. All the windows that were looking out to the streets bricked up from the outside. 
Um, you also, from this fireplace in this room, this thick black smoke just fills the entire room. Uh, as you enter uh, the room, uh, I would like for you all to just quickly roll initiative just for the sake of traversing through this now fucking death trap that is this house. So quickly just an initiative roll from everyone, please. So if quick we, initiative roll? Yeah. For the sake of escaping this house, because I the, a lot of things happen. Oh, great. The time that it matters, escaping. Oh, no. So, um... Plus eight, you're fine. I'm just going to include Hawthorne with me. Sure. For this. Hawthorne's... Yeah, that's fine. For this, that's fine. Anyway. I rolled a zero. 20 plus? Uh, uh, I got 20. 21. 20. 21, Dagon? Yes. Okay. No, last run 20. Last run 20. 15 to 20? Uh -oh. 10, to, 10 to 15? 13. 13 for Davian. 5 to 10. 10. Okay. 9. 10. 10. Brooks. Yeah. 9. And Jax has a 0. Yes. What did you roll, Sokka? 0. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. so for the that sake of this, Daigon, you get to go first. Um, you enter this room, and your vision is heavily obscured. And now that it's your turn, technically, uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, natural one for a total of three. Turns out that this black smoke isn't just normal fire smoke. It has a poisonous uh, air to it. So you take, just from oh, being in this room and breathing it in, you take uh, oh, just three points of poison damage. Um, your vision is obscured. <clears throat> but you have some semblance of like you kind of remember where the door was which is basically uh, just diagonally across the room so yeah what do you want to do okay uh, I'm going to try and just go to where I remember the door being okay. and just get there <laughs> um, as you get to where the door was all the doors are gone but are replaced by slashing scythe blades that just <laughs> That's rude! Just constantly, repeatedly just going down and up, just stabbing the center of, like, this door frame. Uh, make an intelligence check. 19. 19. You look at it, and you figure out the timing. And you think you might be able to, now that you know the timing jump through right as the all the blades like kind of like separate and like use that gap to like jump through without being hit okay and i would like <clears throat> like you know you can see when when cats they do that they're getting ready to like mm -hmm. jump somewhere and they kind of like get a bit lower and they're hard to go so i kind of do that but like bipedal like on two legs yeah. and then i'll use my feline agility when i try and jump through the door okay um yeah you managed to pass through your intelligence check was high enough for you to like you know that you know the timing and you're able to just <laughs> squeeze through. Uh, you enter now back into, like, the main, like, uh, wait, let me quickly grab the map. Yeah, like, the main foyer with, like, the giant spiraling staircase uh, and, and like, back initially where you started this whole adventure. Uh, you also know that, like, around the corner is the double doors into, the, like, entry hall that lead out. Uh, but we'll end your turn there, and we'll just go down the line. So, Elazrin. You as well gonna... enter this room with like this poisonous black smoke. So I would like for you to make a constitution saving throw. Not to 20. That's 20, okay. So you don't take any damage from breathing in this black smoke. You also remember roughly where the door was. Yeah. So do you just use your movement to get there? And then I mean, the same I'm just gonna, thing. Like, I mean, I assume I see like Daigon running in a certain direction. Well, so no, because the, your vision is heavily obscured. So as soon as Daigon oh, like leaves oh, your like area, you fucking no idea. Yeah. yeah, I'll, yeah, I go. And you then also get to this door to also see just these blades just fucking. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you want to make an intelligence check to see if you can also figure out the timing. Straight intelligence check. Yes. Ah, wait, hold on. Is it straight intelligence? Let me double check that. Uh, yeah, it's a straight intelligence check. Dirty 20. You also figure out the timing, and with that, you manage to just jump through as the blades are all, like, retracting. That gives enough of a gap for you to 
jump into that large foyer with the fucking spiraling staircase. You see, die again. There's no smoke here. And you're also out of that room. Uh, let's go down I... the line. Sorry? Oh, no, never mind. No, I was going to do something, but... Okay. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, going down the line, Davian. I would like for you Ooh. as well to make a constitution saving throw. God, here we go. Oh, bad. Nine. Uh, you take some poison damage from breathing in... Uh, you take six points of poison damage from breathing in this, like, smoke. Uh, and again, no big. vision heavily obscured. Because you've been in this room before, it's the room with, like, the, you know, the cases that had, like, all the crossbows and shit. So you've seen the layout. So you roughly know where the door is, so you can just make your way towards there if you want. Yeah, as fast as possible, I'm yeah. dipping. And as you get there, you also... These, like, retracting scythes just constantly going up and down and up and down, and from top to bottom as well. Just constantly stabbing the center of the door. So you can also try to make an intelligence check to see if you can figure out the timing. I can't see shit. I can't see any way of deactivating the fucking thing. It, this no. is just a matter of throwing myself through the door and praying that pretty to much. God that I time it right. Yeah, pretty much. In... Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Intelligence check. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you failed the first check. You don't man manage to really uh, figure out the timing. Um, so you kind of just decide to go for it, right? Um, okay. make a dexterity saving throw as you jump through the, the blades. I win these. Uh, 19. 19? Uh, you jump through, managing to dodge most of the scythe blades, but you do get, like, your arm does get, like, nipped as you kind of, like, squeeze your way through. So you take half damage from this instead of full. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, you take nine points of slashing damage. Oh, half Instead damage of, is nine. Yeah, it's. I mean, I rolled eighteen on two d ten, so I just rolled really high. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, I wish <laughs> Sorry, I could do man. that when I raised elder class. That'd be dope. <laughs> All right, so I'm through. So you're through. You're with uh, Elazarin and Daigon, and we'll now go to Brooks. Same thing for you. This is going to be very repetitive, but I would like for you to make a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Yes. Because you're breathing in this, like, black poisonous smoke coming from the fireplace. Uh, natural 16. Okay, but you don't take any poison damage. Do you book it for the door? How many, how many blades are in the door? Like... Well, it's hard for you to see. You have to, like, actually go there first because of your oh, vision. Yeah, okay, I'm going for the door. But it's just literally... There's, like... Dozens of them, all just kind of like intertwined, interwoven, just just okay. So, um, if you want, There's you can no try and determine the timing on it. I don't think that's gonna go well for me, but uh, or you can just be like, fuck it, and try and jump through. <laughs> try your luck, you can try that too, man. It's up to you. Do I remember if there's any like sizable furniture in this place that could block it or anything like that uh you do but um like it's so say say you were to block this with a table or something right it's gonna then block the door yes exactly okay so you're blocking your then only way out because all the room all the windows have been bricked up from the outside it's could I potentially use something like my crowbar to wedge in to just one section of it to at least take like one section out of play, as it were, to make it easier to get through for everyone? So obviously, if Quickly there's different serves. blades coming in at different points, could I potentially wedge? Like, I'm not going to be able to wedge all the blades out of the way, but... Um, okay, I'll, it, it doesn't, mm, make a perception check. Uh, 14. 14? 
Doesn't seem like you can do that with the blades, but you also do notice that the interior walls that like separate this room from the next are very rotten and it's wood, it's very rotten. So you reckon you could potentially just fucking barge through it. Uh, I don't know where anyone else is, right? Like I can't see anyone. You can't see fuck all. And I didn't see anyone before I moved. Correct. You know that there were two people still behind you, but you know that the other three, that fucking no clue. I am going to call out. Okay. Don't go through the fucking door, it's full of blades. Okay. And then... I am going to... Fucking start kicking my way through the walls. Um, yeah, make it... Yeah, it says here you can try and attack it, but you can also just make a strength or athletics check to see if you can just barge through it. So whichever you prefer. Strength or athletics? Strength 22, athletics, yeah. athletics is 25. Athle no, yeah, DC well, 10. We had our strength drain athletics check. Ago. My strength is plus zero. I just have double proficiency in athletics. So up to you. Whether you want to try and like hit it, as in like try and... Like, I got a natural 19, or... so 25 for athletics. So. Yeah, you fucking shoulder bars through the the brittle, like, rotten wall. Some of the, like, black smoke kind of, like, escapes into the room that you are now in with Daigon and uh, Lazarin and Davian, but not to the point that it fills the entire room again for them to be, like, choking or whatever. Um, from this, like, section, this five-foot section of wall that you destroyed, this, like, swarm of rats comes pouring out and, and, and start nibbling at your feet and... Uh, so I'll just have them join the initiative order real quick. That's fine. I'm just gonna... Is that my action or my full turn? Uh, we'll say that that is your full turn because... Okay, You did more fine. than just bars through, right? You also, like, yeah, had a look at the fine. fucking thing. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's the initiative? Eight plus zero, All right? So, yeah. We'll go... Kes! You're up I... next. Yeah, when I see the black smoke, like, I'm just gonna hold my breath and not okay. breathe in. Uh, yeah, you technically don't need to breathe. Because right? I, I don't need to breathe. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Okay. Um, and then can I go towards where I heard the loud crashing of a wall being absolutely blasted apart? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And you can just walk straight through there because that the hole is now just there. You see. The majority of your allies, and uh, just this like swarm of rats like nibbling <laughs> at Brooks's ankles. Um, I'll be fucking choose. Because you didn't have actually do anything, you like, didn't have to make a check or anything. I'll allow you to use your action if you want to like fucking do something to the rats or something because you haven't really yeah, used anything besides them. movements. Go I'm just it. gonna blast the fucking rats. Am I about to lose a toe? Yeah. Eventually. Collateral damage. Yeah. Roll. Uh, roll your attacks. A 17 and a 30 20. Both hit. Uh, for 11 damage and 5. 11 and 5, so 16 total. Yeah. Okay. And 3 thunder. Ooh. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah, that's it. Yep. That's your turn. Uh, the rats now have a go, and your, bla your Elders Blast immediately like, blew off, like, like, Three quarters of the rats that were there just blown to pieces, but there's still a few left, and they're just gonna give fucking Brooks's ankles a little nibble, <laughs> or try to at least. Uh, Sixteen to hit Brooks. I uh, know. All right, so you managed to kind of just Ooh. kick one of the rats out of the way. Actually, oh, um, my oh, okay, no, never mind. I was just double checking. I couldn't remember if it was strength or con for my AC, but it's con, fine. It's yeah. 17. It's con, right? Pretty I sure. just wanted to double check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the rat's turn. Jax, you're the final one in the room. I would like for you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Um. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh. Uh, 10? 10 is the DC. So you don't take any I damage. I have a plus seven. You don't take any damage from the poison. You've heard the ruckus. You've heard the wall crashing. So do you just follow the sound and get the fuck out? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Honestly. Uh, then we'll say that you've also not used an action or anything. You've just used movement. So you can see that there's still a few rats trying to nibble at uh, Brooks's feet. If you want to just get rid of them, you can. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll go over there and give him a little smack with my gauntlets. All right. I suppose. <laughs> just bitch slap them just, with your gauntlets. Just bitch slap a rat against the wall. <laughs> uh, that's 13 to hit. Hits. And a 15 to hit. Both hit. Cool. Uh, 21 points of force damage. How much? Sorry? 21. Yeah, you fucking just like, there's like three rats left. You just kick one and the other two just pick up and just fucking <laughs> against the walls. And then it's, just, it's just all the rats gone. Um, with that, you're all in this. Right. We are the rats. You're all in this chamber, in this, this like foyer, this, this main hall. Uh, you remember the way out is around the corner, a set of doors, but these doors have also been replaced by just these blades just get mute do we reckon i can at least attempt to go through an exterior wall or is mm. as brooke says that i want to kind of try to show off again a bit and do the same thing i did before and time the jump and look all graceful as i leap make through. another intelligence check <laughs> i can't wait for this Let's to make an intelligence check it's not on the same rhythm oh damn oh no no no, no. that would be how so would you easy. know without making the intelligence check True. <laughs> I rolled a 14. 14? Uh, you reckon you have the pattern down? You're not entirely sure, though. Um, you failed, this, failed the, the, the check. But uh, So if you want to jump through, I would like for you to make a dexterity saving throw. A dexterity save? Yes. 24. 24. So you jump through, but you're you're like back of your like left shoulder does get nicked right as you almost made your full way through uh so you take half damage from this uh which is five half to uh, two so you take two points of damage from, like a, showing off two points of damage from like this quick like nip at the back of your shoulder but you you know almost made it through without a scratch and as you get in as you jump into that room uh Diagon, you see that uh there's one more door I thought this was the front door to leave. This is it to another room? Yeah, this is like the entry hallway. Uh, so if you remember... I thought we jumped from the no, entry if you room into if the you entry remember, hallway. Um, no, it was an entry hallway, like was foyer. A, in yeah, that door. led into this big room with like the spiral staircase, which is the room with the spiral staircase is where you now just left. So you're now in this like hallway. Okay. There's one more door it. that leads to the outside, which is also replaced by blades. So there's one more blade trap for you to get to freedom, essentially. Uh, so for the sake of you having left that room, we'll just continue down the line. Um, we'll you know, we'll make leaving the room kind of like the cutoff point of anyone's turn here because there's no comment going on at the moment. Uh, so we'll answer. I mean, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna go to the next room because that's how I know how to get out. Okay. And I'm not like hearing the shout of like, "Don't go through the bladed doors." i will just be like, I mean, it seems pretty safe. You just time it right. You get through quite easily. All right, make another intelligence check if that's what you want to do. Can't wait for him to yeah. die because he's only got 16 health. You could legitimately die here. Uh, that is a 19. 19. You got the timing down to a T, and you hop through, and just without a scratch, just whoop. not even your not, not even your cloak in. gets nicked by the by the blades completely. Yeah, don't worry. I could, Ethan, or I could just spend a turn healing myself back up, and I'll be fine. I give a no, laser and it can and do I'll enough die. damage. <laughs> it can do enough damage to. One shot you. So Elazarin jumps through the door and his diagonal is there. <laughs> like, is that a Jeremy? Like, I can do it three out of three. <laughs> three out of three. Two out of three. Uh, all right, Davian, uh, you're next. I'm not even going to try and time it, dude. I'm just flying through this thing. Like, I'm confident <laughs> in my abilities. Then. Fuck it. Yep. Yeah, yeah 17 plus six. Oh yeah, 23. Okay. Soaring. Uh, you dolphin make a, dive. You make the save, but you do take half damage. As like one, as you kind of like dolphin dive, one of the sides just kind of like nicks you at like in like the calf or something as you kind of like dive through. Uh, so you take four points of Go slashing damage. Right yeah, no biggie. Uh, Brooks. I'm not dying in here. Okay, today. We're not to the exterior wall yet, right? So sorry. We're not at the exterior wall yet. We've still one room to go. Uh, I mean, there is an exterior wall. In this room as well. Um, to the sides, but like to the sides, yeah. 
No, I mean, the next room on, where the others are, mm -hmm. is it still a thin wall? So, you... Mm, I suppose, technically, you could break through, like, the part of the wall that is attached to the door to squeeze through, yeah? That is that is a possibility. That is an interior wall. Cool. Excuse me. I'm fucking going through the door, baby. Okay. Oh, am I gonna uh, end through up the wall, sorry. Right mm -hmm. Through the wall. Just a blast. Make uh, an athletics check. Athletics? Mm -hmm. 21. 21, again, you barge through, and this time, it's not a swarm of rats that comes creeping out of the, the broken down wall, but it's a swarm of insects just... Oh, thank God. Just insects is fine. That's it's like it's swarming around you. No. Just insects, right, Dutch? No arachnids, just insects? It says insects. It's a swarm of insects, so... Perfect. They rolled an 18 for their initiative. Mine, all right. Write those down. Okay. All right, so that's you through. There's now a swarm of like, insects I'm... around you, but uh, we'll end your turn there. Brooks is just gonna fucking juggernaut his way through the wall. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, Kess, up next. Cool age man. I'm just gonna go through the opening that he mm -hmm. that he made. You do see like this swarm of like just big insects just kind of like f flying around Brooks's head, just kind of. I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> that's all him, bro. Do I have enough movement to get through the last door? How much movement do you have? Uh, Actually, no, for, uh, because the way this works is just as soon as you okay. progress to a room, that's where, you know, that's it. So let's cast on Jax. I'll just go through the opening and... Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I'll help Brooks <laughs> the insects. All right. I suppose. I'm saving you from the blades, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I don't give a fuck. I got health, bro. I got health, bro. Uh, 19. Yo, pussy. 19 to and hit. And the 28 to hit. Both hits, yes, absolutely. Sick, dude. Sick, dude. Fuck. Okay, that's not bad. Um, 17 points of force damage. Total? Yeah. All right, so you it, it, it immediately just like eliminate three quarters of the insects there just like with the gloves and and the like the way it just kind of like has this innate thunder aspect to it just fucking and, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah majority of them obliterated right away um okay we'll go back to daigon behind you there's brooks still being pestered by a handful of bugs and in front of you is the final door that would lead you to freedom yeah, I'm just gonna try and get through that final door again, time it, and then you're gonna try an intelligence and uh, check. try and do the timing thing. That will make uh, will be an intelligence check, yeah. Sixteen this time. You figure out the timing and you jump through, and not a scratch. So that is you outside, and as soon as you reach the outside, the bugs disappear, the blades disappear. It seems that all the like windows that were bricked up from the outside, those bricks just disappear. And in front of you, as you now all gather at, like, on like the doorstep, um, Rose and Thorn appear. <laughs> Rose and Thorn appear one more time and just look at you. And you can see that Rose, there's like a single tear kind of rolling down her cheek. And she just, thank you. And they just. I just push past the kids like, oh, get out of the fucking way. Where's my bird? <laughs> bird is there. Bird is there. Oh, no. So you push oh, the no! kids out of the way as their bodies are just, like, evaporating. Like, I'll push them, you know? So I just kind of... Just they, the... like, sort of... <laughs> their whiskey, evaporating forms, like, swirl around me. I'm, I want to make sure I've interpreted this right. Mm -hmm. When Daigon gets outside, the stuff disappears for Daigon or for... For everybody. For everybody. Okay, cool. Whoa. Whew. Well... As you look around you... Spiders. As you look around you... Uh, the mist kind of seems to have faded a little bit to reveal the town of Barovia and on top of a large hill so adjacent to the town is this giant castle and as you look at it this like thunder and lightning strikes to kind of like <clears throat> give you a proper view of it and then suddenly you're all surrounded by the swirl of mist you transport it back to your initial campsite you're all kind of gathered in a circle back where you were before you were transported to is the dome this still there plane. dome is not there no got spelled no oh. dome got fucked got um but you're back to where you were before all this fuckery happened 
camping, getting ready for the final like half a day of travel to get to Strathmore. We can finally sleep. If you restart at eight hours, though. Hey, I have a little sleep in. You know, it's all good. Uh, no, you have to restart your eight hours of rest. You don't have to sleep for all those eight hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I will spend ten minutes to ritual cast that dome again. That sweet, sweet okay. dome. Okay. And yeah, just go dome. to fucking sleep. Um. It's time. As you. Are all gathered at your campsites. Um, no, there's more. You suddenly feel something in like your pockets that wasn't there, and as you all kind of reach down, each and every single one of you has a letter in their pocket, sealed with like a wax seal, and in it's the crest. I'm gonna open it. <clears throat> you gonna open it? Also open, open it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you read it, it says, "I appreciate you try. You, I appreciate you tying up some loose ends. I have a request for you." When you're ready to talk, find the raven's nest. Okay. Signed as Fee said. I just oh. want to take my my letter since they all read the same thing, right? Like we look and all of ours read yeah, the same. Everyone they're not reads the same thing. I just take mine and shred it real angry, like cat shredding paper. <clears throat> Throw it away. Can we oh, yeah. now make an agreement that if anyone else you has any shit that you they haven't it? told us... Diagon destroys it? Immediately, a raven just appears on your shoulder with another letter for you specifically. Diagon. Oh. I'm gonna be as long as possible, sit there and be like a stubborn child and not take it. <laughs> but then she then she if I go over me or something and then eventually I'll be like, God damn it, and just take the letter. Uh, I'm gonna ritual cast identify on the cloak, and right. if Cast gives me the spellbook, the spellbook as well. Okay. Um, you identify the cloak to be a cloak of protection. Oh shit! So, uh, cheeky uh, AC and saving throw bonus if you wear the cloak. Um, does require attunements. Okay. Any cloak swappers? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, fuck gonna forget that you have it again, Koiba. No, I can't forget that because it brings stats. Oh, it's true. It brings stats. It's just on your sheet all the time. You already have a cloak. Shut the fuck up. Um, you already have a cloak. If you identify the, um, the, the spell book or the book, it is... It, yeah, I, I ask you to do that. It is a spell book, uh, which has a bunch of just wizard spells in it. Uh, disguise self, identify... Mage armor, magic missile, protection from evil and good, dark vision, hold person, invisibility, and magic weapon. Uh, yeah, you see that this is. It seems to you that this is just a spell book that belonged to a wizard of some point that potentially also got pulled into this house, but managed to not succeed at breaking the curse. Perhaps one of the bodies in the Shambling Mound belonged to this wizard. You will never know. But this is what remains of that wizard, that nameless wizard, <laughs> that somehow found his way into the death house in Barovia. And probably nice. never came out. The death house in Barovia. Well, I'll give that back to Kess, because I don't know with what the fuck you do with the name like that, you want to steer clear, you know? <laughs> and with that, um, unless there's something you guys want to discuss, we'll say that you guys have to do your guard shifts and whatnot, and then wake up. After a nice sleep in, being well rested, with about half a day worth of travel to go to get to Strathmore, and then having like three and a half days there, kind of chilling, exploring, before uh, your date to go pirating is there. Question: uh, Do we get our strength scores back? Every stat that yeah, your strength that got reduced, you got back after your long rest. Uh, Elastrin's max HP back to normal as well. Um, and we'll pick this up next week. Oh, yeah. Yes. I think Is I think this is what I want to say, but it can wait until next week because we've okay. got travel episodes. Yeah, it's like yeah. A, like yeah, a little bit of travel still. So, are you gonna be here, Soko, next week? You're not gonna be well, here next week. Next week, week. Next week. Next week. Shit. Week I mean, next session. You're right. Next week is no DS because of fucking TwitchCon. But I mean, next sesh. So uh, the twenty fourth. Big math. Yes. Uh, ask me next week. Okay. <laughs> Fair if enough. not, I, I want. Don't know. If not, I want an extensive list of Jax's talking points during travel. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Sure. Like, oh, is there a time where you know you'll be able to kind of make it for a few sessions back to back, Soko? Because of like, I don't. It feels. I, wrong. I think I will be able to. It's just that right now we're uh, moving areas from yeah. Florida to Arkansas, so I'm just not sure on the actual living situation yet. But well, I well you have two weeks to figure it out. Two weeks to figure it out. Because, figure it out. because the I mean, thing is, yeah, cause, cause because the, can, this this arc that we're about to head into slash. is like yeah. a lot of Jax's backstory, and it feels wrong to start that without you being no, able to at all. What do you be mean? there. You know what I mean? So that's that's why. Nothing about me. That's why. Also, I fucking like jam this in here to kind of just like postpone, postpone, postpone until you get yourself situated. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they <laughs> fucked themselves by putting the letter in the chest. Yeah, that was just a good excuse for like I would have found something else to fucking throw at you, but then you know, yeah. You're welcome. Look, this, these are filler want, episodes, guys. <laughs> all, no, no, no. All I want Look, next session is I want travel, I want intense character dialogue, and then I want to go sit on a beach. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're going to be into it. Yeah, there, there will be a beach. So, yeah, sure. It's possible. I, I don't want any of the beach. beach. Let's go get a wave. I don't King want any Josh. combat. I don't want any fucking well wishes or distant relations. You don't get to decide oh. that. Even true um, but yeah fucking... we'll not be here uh next week because i'll be at twitchcon and it's kind of hard to do this without a dm guys i mean i okay, kind of made bro. myself a little irreplaceable for this here campaign no. fucking <laughs> day you go to guy, Rolls of fate. thank guys. you so much for uh for the raid we'll just have um, Denny come over and do it. and and, uh, and we could have people over here off. appreciate you i'm thanking the raiders shut the fuck up <laughs> uh, Rolls of fate thank you so much for the for the raid and uh, frost raven welcome on in as well and thanks for the follows guys much appreciated we love you um We'll be here tomorrow with a couple of us to play Divinity Original Sin, um, which we do every... We try to do it on Monday. So there's that. And then Thursday, we will do Dungeon Discourse because last week's got fucking postponed because I suddenly had some shit pop up, which is fucking annoying. How dare you have shit going on this yeah, week? Yeah, I don't know, man. But uh, so Thursday, Dungeon Discourse, which is our talk show where we discuss and do the behind-the-scenes talks and interview and all that stuff. It's a good time. Show some love. Uh, check out the YouTube, uh, all of our content is edited and uploaded to the YouTube by our lovely Belle. She is our editing slave I'm and up she does a great job. I'm this ne the next couple of weeks. So, so check us out in there. Everything should be up to date by next session. Hell yeah. And the um, podcast. Follow us on Twitter. We also have, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many, but there's a, a bunch of episodes out in podcast form as well, which uh, Duke Look, does. I, I think Laura said like 13 or something. Yeah. Uh, you can scroll behind. up in our chat and find out. I don't remember yeah. off the top of my head. Yeah, so there's a lot of yeah. ways to, to catch up, you know. To, I know, to, to I know. Twitter. No, I wasn't giving you shit. I was, I was doing my doing I my was. No, Elle was. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, thank you so much for all the love, guys. We'll be here tomorrow to play some Divinity and uh, Thursday for Dungeon Discourse. And then we'll be back for the next session of Dungeon Select. Campaign 2 will be uh, Sunday the 24th. Peace out. I, think it was, Have a good night. I want to say Belle and Laura. Was it Belle and Laura? Girls. It's Belle and Laura. It's Belle and Laura. Yeah. yeah. Which is perfect now the as well, because this is something that Girlies. started because of their session zero, night. so. I'll say I won't be here anymore. <sighs> Girls the, the, night, Duchess wears maid outfit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bum 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 do 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 dum. Now slowly like fade out. It's just like bum bum.